I really shouldn't be streaming today. It's really not a good idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway! Hey everybody! I'm just too hyped for RimWorld, um, and I really couldn't imagine playing Biotech without doing some sort of content for it right away. Uh, I was too hyped. I'm like, ah, do I just want to do a YouTube thing? No, I really wanted to just stream it. So we're gonna do this. It'll be a little bit out of, out of sequence, out of sync. Hopefully not too many people miss things. I have to do a post to get the, uh, to link people to the VOD right away. Technically, I'm not supposed to upload the VOD to YouTube, I think for 24 hours after the stream, but I could make a video pointing people to the VOD. Maybe I'll do something like that. loud hey for evil not good thanks for the bits thank you so much now um i am trying something a little bit different today uh i have um hey quill pay attention there's a new subscriber we have a new subscriber oh cash tech thank you very much for the sub with prime i have set up um a couple of new custom rewards that you can spend your petra points on petra points are just something you get from watching the stream so i'm i'm trying to use that for the name and game right now it'll set up a queue based in order for things i know some people have like hundreds of thousands of petra points that don't do anything so i set up two queues the name and game and the name and game high priority which if you want to dump a ton of petra points might be a way to do it if the numbers are all like wrong and stupid and bad then I'll I'll change how it works going forward. But it seems like a good way to like start doing something with these Petra points that I've never really done anything with. So it might be a good way to do it. It also, you know, you don't have to be a subscriber or anything. You just have to be a regular viewer and then regular viewers get in more likely. That seems like a decent idea. Uh, <laughs> does anyone, everyone else in chat see the redeemed name in game in chat? Or is that making it too, um, I guess that's making it too noisy, huh? Yeah, you see it? Okay, that is too spammy. What I'm gonna do, um, we can, I, want, I don't know if there's any way to hide it. We'll see. But what I could do is I could just put a pause on those. I think I can disable them uh, and then just deal with the queue afterwards. So there's not too much spam. I suspect it's all one. I mean, it's no different than that like hashtag name thing, right? People spam that, which don't because it's not active right now. So probably it'll be okay. So we'll, we'll just try it for now and we'll see. Anyway, so the idea I have for our stream here, and I debated it. I'm like, oh man, we've got we've got the, you know, there's the new setup where you start as a mechanator. There's the one where you start as a vampire. I thought about those. Um, I thought about starting with a single rich explorer and doing sort of like, um, like a Dr. Uh, Frankenfurter, Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of thing with like a single mad scientist, a few different things. But I think what I want to do is do a tribal run, which A, we haven't done in a long time, and B, kind of almost revisit the idea that we once did with kind of a tribal thing, but where like they, they had this like this belief about the, like, the hierarchy of life forms. Now we're gonna, not going to do that exactly, but um, those were sort of transhumanist, and I kind of like the idea of um, as the title of the stream says, Tribals to Gods, uh, where the idea is we start as tribals and we want to make ourselves as awesome as possible. Whether that's bionics, whether that's genetics, whatever it takes, we're going to try to make ourselves as amazingly overpowered uh, as individuals as possible. So I think that's going to be great. And tribal runs, it's interesting. You are cursed with slower technology gain throughout the entire game. Uh, although if we're transhumanists we will have the um the access to the research specialist we can all i'm also going to boost my research speed um to compensate with our ideology which should help but on plus side we do start with five people which is incredibly helpful um and actually if we get a um if we get an anima tree in a relatively convenient location i'm a hundred percent going to do anima tree stuff because psionics is going to be another way for us to be super overpowered god tier kind of creatures right so i think that's going to be the vibe over there um let's uh you know what? I'll, I'll let more of the um the resubs trickling before i do the read we'll, get, we'll do a little bit of setup here and then we'll check that bum, bum, bum. so yeah we're gonna start with the lost tribe setup i'm just gonna start on strive to survive reload anytime uh because uh, at first i guess the downside with this is we may not be interacting with as many of the biotech um functions as possible unless we start with like just just as a way to differentiate our initial tribals we could give them each a slightly tweaked xenotype i mostly want to start as baseliners but maybe we could do baseliners with a slight twist or something i don't know 
Um, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna, I, I'll call my initial start biotech, cause why not? Here, we'll do the whole world, get ready to go. I'm gonna add in uh, some more tribals as well, cause that way it will lean more of the raids to it being tribes who are attacking us, which um, generally speaking will be pretty, will be a little bit easier, but should give us more bodies to do things with. Baseliner plus one trade is a fun idea. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. And then maybe we make it inheritable and mix and matchy. Can you turn the other DLCs off and just see the new one? We could, although um, I think since we're going doing sort of a themed run. Um, oh, cool, Agamor. Huh. Um, since we're doing kind of a themed run, what I, uh, um, I, I still want to do ideology for sure. And then this way we also get the Sionics from Royalty. And I think it's all going to blend together very, very well. All right, so it did take a little longer to generate the world. As far as I know, the game runs fine, even if you generate the whole world. Um, I think I would like sort of a temperate for starting. Yeah, I'm going to read the, the subs and resubs once we get a little established here. I want to let them trickle in so that we can do them properly as one bunch. I would like to start near one of the um, sort of like regular, I don't know what you would call it. Like, yeah, these outlander factions, because they're going to be useful to trade with over here. So I want to be near a potential trading partner. So I want to be near one of these purple houses. Um, I do like a lot of roads. Like if we're over here, there's tons of roads around. What are we looking at over here for the start? <clears throat> okay, 40 out of 60 days growing, which is very standard. Limestone, granite, slate. That might be a little close to there. I mean, we could, we could even look for like, if I move just a little further south, 50 of 60. So it's not year round, but it is a little bit, uh, a better. Um, I really want to start. Wait. Oh, uh, it'd be. I, I'm hoping to find a spot. This is the map preview thing. Um, just to avoid us like starting the game and being like, oh wow, this start sucks. I'm hoping to find something that's got some rich soil near the center. I don't know if the rich soil is the dark or the greenish here. Either way, we get a little bit of it. Some of this might be. It's not water. Some of this might be like mucky terrain that is uh, hard to build on. But overall, I mean, it's fairly open. That'll be okay. We don't have a lot of rocks here, so there's really not gonna be a lot of mining available. Um, you know, that's kind of interesting. I really don't wanna do much undergroundy things, though I don't really wanna deal with insects. Beware of nearby pollution. Um, wait, what's this? Why does this terrain look different? Is this pollution? Pollution extreme, oh my God! Oh my god, extreme pollution! Nearby pollution, oh my god! Yeah, okay, I forgot that, yeah, pol I, for, I mean, I knew pollution was a mechanic that was added in the game um, that you could generate. I didn't realize that being near pollution like that would cause a thing. Okay, over here we've got no nearby pollution. Uh, you're about growing. Um, limestone is pretty strong, not quite as strong as granite, but it's pretty good, and marble. I actually like starts that just have two different types of stone because it tends to just make your stone working just a little bit cleaner. If you got like three different types of stone, you're not gonna use it all, so there's gonna be a bunch of chunks that are just sitting around being annoying. Um, big open center. I don't know which one of these two patches is the uh, rich soil, but either way, we're gonna have one not too far from the center of the map. I think I like this site. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go here. <laughs> What's it called? Chernobyl. Um, yeah, I don't know if the pollution spreads. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. Oh, you think dark brown is rich and green is marsh, which would actually be ideal if that's the rich spot. We can just build a little base right next to that. Okay, let's go now. I'm not gonna increase the map size because I, I don't want a map again where we spend too much time like walking. So we're gonna create a custom fixed ideology. I'm gonna say create, and here I'm just gonna click a button, some buttons really quick. I'm gonna load in my mad scientist um, ideology that I was sort of poking around with before, right? So these are transhumanists, human primacy. So human primacy gives us production specialists, which is really good. Transhumanist gives us research specialists. Supremacist gives us shooting specialists. Now you can only run two types of specialists in your ideology. So we have to pick, but I kind of like that. Um, Collectivist gives you the triple work drive, which is useful if we're remembering to hit the work drive button, which we may or may not. One thing that's surprising to me is that, as far as I can tell, there are no new memes or precepts that include the concepts from biotech. 
which I was very surprised at. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be mods and things for it. Sure, there always is. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit surprised for this. But anyway, um, so we are going to research very fast. We're starting from tribal, so we still have a long way to go. And we're going to have like the extra cost multiplier for anything, you know, beyond the tribal tech. But that's going to be OK. A bunch of these are locked in because we are transhumanist body modification. Uh, now, this only kicks in once you reach a certain wealth level. Um, I should probably open that up. I think they only start demanding it when they get to like moderate expectations, which is 80K. Uh, is there a chart on the wiki? There's, of course there wouldn't be a chart on the wiki. Why would there be a chart on the wiki? Maybe expectations? I search for that. Wow, the RimWorld wiki is really slow today. It's almost like a bunch of people are playing it. Okay, well, I can get the list of expectations, but I'm not actually getting the cost. Oh, there we go. So you have to go to the mood page and expectation moodlets. So moderate expectations kick in at 81,000. And I believe that's when they're going to start begging for body parts. Um, and I can't remember. I think it might be, it's going to be quite soon. It's not going to be immediately. I think it's when we hit very low expectations at 15 grand that we're going to need like rolls and things, but that's going to be okay. Mm hmm. So yeah, we are, um, cannibalism, fine. You know what? We are gonna, again, we're mad scientists. Mostly I want this. We're gonna be butchering up body parts and things like that and not caring about it. Of course, everyone's gonna be fully closed for, you know, safety from splashing yourself with acid. Uh, acid. Uh, we can't bond because we're human supremacists, so no bonded animals. Uh, we don't care about corpses. We don't care if we kill off uh, prisoners. That's not gonna be something we are concerned with. We do get the don't mind from nutrient paste because of uh, transhumanist, which is very convenient. Although it's gonna take us a while to tech to a nutrient paste dispenser, but we'll see. Oh, you can change age reversal to preferred instead of demanded. No, I can't. Required me and my transhumanist. I have to leave it at uh, demanded. Uh, the insect meat despises by default. I could switch to loved. I don't know if that... Oh, they really don't care. Hmm. Well, I was gonna say, I didn't want to debuff if they didn't eat it. Like some of the cannibalism ones, if they haven't eaten people for a while, it's a problem. But yeah, insects, slimy yet satisfying, right? Sure, let's put that on. Um, I don't really want to do slavery, but I can't go any lower than that because of our uh, supremacist meme. So I don't think we're gonna do slavery. Uh, so we're just gonna go and ignore that. Um, our roles are going to be, so we're gonna have the prime for our leader. The moral guide is our advocate. And then we're gonna have an engineer and researcher specialist roles. We could rename those. Kind of like it. Yet yeah, money disproved is because of uh, the, the, we are uh, human primacy. Human primacy, we cannot be friends with animals. It's not gonna have to be that. Um, and yeah, our weapons, the kinetic multiplier, the really awesome laser, laser, and the pain giver. I think those are gonna be great relics. Call engineer the bobber. Oh, for KSP, the bobber and the, what are the Kerbals called? I mean, obviously we've got like Jeb, the pilot. It's Bob and, I can't remember. The chess cheater, wow. Now we're gonna, I think we're gonna leave it here. Bill, Bob and Bill. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave engineer and researcher. You know, nice clear titles is gonna be okay. Uh, everyone has to wear a button down shirt. You know, that that's mandatory lab gear. I haven't messed with the appearance and stuff like that. I think we'll leave that there. So we are going to, uh, we, I, I, someone asked about the reading the subs. We're gonna be reading the subs very shortly. I just wanted to do more. No, I didn't see the KSP treat today, but someone just posted the, the announced date of February 24th. That's very exciting, very exciting. Yeah, I've been kind of busy here with RimWorld. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and randomize everyone to make sure there's no bad traits in here. Uh, Fast Walker is amazing, but Tortured Artist gives you the minus eight mood. And I don't know if we want Chemical Interest. It's not a breaker. Um, chemical, Careful Shooter isn't actually very exciting, especially since you don't actually have any shooting skill. Technically, you don't have anything bad going on. We'll come back to you. Uh, Steadfast is great. You got a couple of bite scars, but it's not the end of the world. Teetotaler's fine. 
Uh, tough is good. Misogynist is annoying. I think you're much more likely to start social fights with female pawns, uh, which is not great. I don't like that you're incapable of violent to start off with. Maybe that means you won't start social fights. Well, you'll probably still go and insult people. Other people will start social fights with you. Um, tough is exceptionally good. Although if you can't fight, tough's kind of a waste. So I'm gonna reroll that. Um, Undergrounder might be annoying. The Undergrounder, they won't like being outside. Ascetic is very convenient though, because you don't need a fancy bedroom. And so Psychopath is actually mostly okay. Um, yeah, no mood boost from socializing, but you actually don't get bothered by tons of things. So that's actually pretty tempting. That over here. Okay, chemical interest is a little bit annoying because they're always gonna wanna do drugs. But industrious is incredibly good, except they don't really have a passion for anything that, I mean, industrious is just global work speed increase, which is really only gonna matter for planting. That's, bloodlust is very convenient. Again, it does, although it does increase the chance of a social fight, but it, um, it eliminates a lot of other problems. I kind of feel like we might reroll this one, even though Industrious is really good. It's not, it's not going to help this character. Oh, you're right. Hold on. Before we lock in here, if we're going to do Xenotyping, we have to do it now because it will re-randomize the other uh, perks. So yeah, we can change the base race over here. Um, these are the pre-made ones, but it'll tell you. So here it'll tell you if you click this, like, or rather in the tooltip, I think. Uh, where does it say it? It says it somewhere. Maybe it only tells it the you tells it to you the first time you do it, because it does re-randomize the um, uh, the character here. Um, it does. Uh, so you got to be a little careful. You got to do the xenotype thing first. Let's do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna for each one of these people I'm gonna do one custom xenotype modification of something. Um, there's a randomize button. Oh, that's randomize the name. Aww. Well, that's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna get each one of them exactly one positive trait. That will increase how much food they eat, so that's gonna be a whole other thing. Yeah, if we had a if we had a nudist, naked speed is pretty good. Let's have one person have um, a boost to fast runner. Okay, let's have another person uh, be a full time optimist. Let's have another person. Um. Not need as much sleep, not need any sleep is interesting. Let's have one person be beautiful and hope they get a great social skill. Let's have one person. I mean, and then there's cosmetic things that we can just we can just throw in here that doesn't uh, that doesn't even cost anything. Um Let's have someone with elongated fingers that's gonna give them increase to manipulation. Right, that is yeah good and then I don't know about any of these aptitudes I don't think I want to do those oh is vision one oh, dark vision that was under miscellaneous hold on what else we got under miscellaneous here nearsighted dark vision instability Oh, it's poor. Inbred is actually bad. Pignose? Non-pignose romance chance times 20%. You know, we'll have one be uh, a strong stomach. Oh, I meant to make these inheritable. Dang it. Hang on. Uh, what do I have to do? Load. Load the Nimboid. Set it to inheritable. And then save and apply. Okay. So you're an Anon. So I've got to load the Anon. Set it to inheritable. Save. Uh, you are Grace Ear. So we load that, do this, inheritable, save, 
Al's hole. Inheritable. And go. And the feed X that I... I think I remembered to do that one. Yeah, good. Okay. So, each one of these people is going to have a xenotype with one small positive trait that is inheritable. Uh, now I'm going to restart. So this is, person's a fast walker. Now, this it actually becomes slightly more of a thing. Like, do we want to combine? Do we want someone to have traits that um, that synchronize with stuff? Uh, what are you with the Altol here? Oh, yeah, you got an elongated finger. So ideally someone who is good at manipulation. Okay, this is actually a great character. Manipulation will definitely boost construction and mining. Probably cooking and planting all gets modified by the fact that they have increased manipulation. They can't dumb labor, which is slightly annoying, but they are jogger, which is amazing. And psychopath is actually probably good. I don't know if this increases the chance that when they have a mood break that they'll go and try to murder people, but I think we're gonna go with psychopath here. Yeah, this is this is gonna be fantastic. Okay. Um Right, this person is beautiful. So what we really want with this person is that they have <laughs> they have the ability to socialize. That's actually going to be very important because oh my god, Jogger's good. Greedy's not even going to be a problem. But I have to randomize this person. Well, have to. I want to randomize this person because I want uh, someone who's going to be like the perfect socializer so that we can more easily recruit and convert people. So if I hit randomize, okay, good. You keep Grace here, which is good. Um it's funny, we actually rolled the natural beautiful trait. Yeah, see, I mean, you can socialize, but I'd really like you to have passion for it. A wimp. Wimp's not great because they do suffer more pain and are more likely to instantly collapse in combat. On the other hand, uh, luckily they have great shooting skills, so hopefully they'll just be shooting at range. They have a little passion for social. I mean, they don't have any other crafty stuff. But this actually seems okay to me. You're showing up with psychiatric addiction though, which might be a bit of a problem because your mood is gonna be absolute shit. Unless we start growing psychite tea immediately. Hey, we're gonna rename these people. Let's not worry about the names too much. Ooh, oh, you and you come with psychite tea. Does psychite tea reduce pain? It does too. You know what? That's fine. All right, you get to stay in here. Okay, so you know what, let me, um, here, I'm just gonna put a temporary nickname of X and X. These people I'm, I'm kind of okay with. So Dinosaur here has got the Anon thing, which gives them Optimus. So they're always gonna be an Optimus. So they can be anything, actually. Um, neurotic, okay, is sort of a half and half trait, right? It does increase mental break threshold, although combined with Optimist is not is fine. It eliminates itself. Neurotic increases global work speed. The problem again here is that we kind of didn't hit any work. Ideally, um, they would have the crafting trait. Still, this isn't bad. And they've got double passion for shooting, which is actually going to be kind of beautiful. We might leave them over here. Okay, and Lurcha, right, the Nimboids just have the fast walker. Um, Trigger Happy is actually not bad if we can get, um, apparently with Psyonix, uh, the speed at which they f fire off their Psyonix abilities is based on their shooting speeds. Trigger Happy Pawns make excellent Psyon assist. Pessimist is annoying. It's not breaking. Woo! Food! It's been a while. Oh, spicy wine pizza. Thanks, KG. Oh, man. Okay, I got to set a timer here. Mm -hmm. So I remember to check the door. Send it for 30 minutes. How's that? There we go. Good. Um, Lurches may be fine, especially if they're the only source of medical stuff. And we are going to need some cooking early on. Mm -hmm. So... I think you might be fine. I think you might be fine. So... Okay, and so um, the feed X here, so so-called crab right now, um, all they do is they don't get food poisoning. Psychically hypersensitive is good and bad. Um, the psychic sensitivity, I believe, boosts their psionic abilities. So we really could do some kick-ass psionic stuff with this. Make sure you have both males and females. Uh, we do have a... Okay, we actually have one male and all the rest are female. But we'll also be trying to recruit some more people. 
Um, we've got some another person who's a great fighter. A little construction and crafting. Oh, this person would be ideal as our um, production specialist. It's, it'd be nice if they had double passion for one of these, but this is going to be okay. All right. I think we're good over there. So what we're going to do here is we are going to read the subs and resubs. Then I'm going to pull names out of the name and game queue, and we are going to name these pawns, uh, and then we're going to get started. Crab and Lobster's default name sounds like fun tribe to live, right? Exactly. Uh, so we've got, first of all, we got some, um, we got some gift subs that came in. Oh, thank you very much. We had Cyclovex gift subs, Pardu gifted subs, Jazeem gifted subs. Thank you so much for that. Oh, KG as well gifted subs. Thank you. We got a brand new sub in Cash Tech. Thank you very much for subbing. Remembering that uh, Twitch Prime button, which is great. Oh, looks like Job gifted some subs as well. Thank you very much, everyone. Wow, everyone's being super generous. Thank you. Uh, we got resubs. So we got Alex tries to game at 13 months. Rhymes is at 32 months. Undead Monkey, 10 month resub. Thank you very much. Uh, Undead says, loving all the RimWorld content. Never watched or played until your vanilla run on YouTube. It's been highly entertaining, so thank you. Well, great. This is mostly vanilla. Well, obviously, this has got the expansions and a couple of user interface uh, uh, tweaks, but the gameplay mechanics are going to be vanilla with the expansions. Flubba's at 22 months. Kane, Black Knife is at 52. <laughs> 42 plus 10. Nice. Keridan is at 26 months. I want to play a lot, but passing until after I binge a lot of Victory 3. Yeah, man, what a crazy, crazy set of games that are about to come out for our channel here. NCC Voyagers at 22 months. N1313's at 34 months. Taste Toasty Marv, also tasty. 54 months from Taste Toasty, thank you very much. Glendar's at 49 months. Goodog's at 50 months. The Burning Void is at 66 months. If the burning persists for more than four hours, see your doctor. Cyclovex is sub for 92 months from Cyclovex. Yeah, if you do experience burning for more than four hours, ask your doctor for a prescription to Cyclovex. KR Jax at 39 months. Millennium Profit, 18, good number. Net Stranger is a one year Twitch anniversary, 12 months right there from, from Net Stranger. Uh, Private Paul is at 88 months. MJ is at 78. You Bring Light is at 54 months. Net Weaver is at 10 months. J Last is at 20 months. Flamebeard's here for. 103 months. Garbud is at 23 months. Fenian's at 65. Thorborg, 20 months. Can you do a dystopian world where you have three leaders in as uh, many months? Is this a, is this a UK thing? <laughs> uh, and oh, we just had a few more. We had Niders coming at 61 months, Smiling Servants at 53, and Thrown into Soul is at 98 months. Thank you so much. Let's grab names okay, out of our queue. Ooh, and a new subscriber as well. Oh, Helgar, thank you very much for joining the channel. For any new subscribers, there is a, uh, a subscriber Discord. You can check the information down below. So if I click manage stream requests and I check the high priority queue, excellent. We are gonna start off with our first character over here is Flame. Oh, I hate that it does that. Flamebeard. Blam. Next, oh, Doc Villain, but who's our actual doctor? Hold on, I'm gonna do a little swap over here. This is gonna be Doc Villain since they're actually our doctor. And this one over here is going to be... Oh, man, why doesn't it just select? It's going to be Flame Beard. Like that. Perfect. And then next we've got Rhyme Pendragon. Zapper. It's Zapper777, but I'll just call it Zapper. And then finally, Valinor. Okay. Complete. Complete. Complete, complete. Okay, let's start. I'll still have to remember who's who. Can you imagine getting rid of one competent leader only to randomly roll one even worse? <laughs> okay, uh, so this flavor over here is the default flavor text for the tribal run, but in my opinion, we're all escapees from a, a genetic research facility. Uh, we didn't like the way we were treated, but we still sort of follow the ideology that like, Bionic and genetic modification is obviously the way to become onto gods. We sort of worship the old makers, that sort of thing. Oh wow, we have a geothermal vent right in the middle of our 
um, of our fertile ground. Now, I think we do have year-round growing, or nearly growing. I think we're at 50 of 60. It would be interesting if, like, for winters, we could just, like, we need light still, but if we fence this in, it actually would stay nice and, uh, nice and toasty. <gasps> the anima tree's not on the edge of the map? That's amazing! Since we are starting a tribal run, okay. One of the things is, um, I've never done a lot of the, the anima tree stuff before, because one of the things with it is it always says, oh, if you build close, it breaks the anima tree. Yeah, as it turns out, and I didn't realize this until I was watching some other play, people play RimWorld, um, the worst this becomes is a minus 30 to the speed at which the anima grass grows. And that's, that's it. It's like, oh, that's not so bad. We can totally, like, compensate for that. That's going to be fine. Like, so we'll develop the anima grass a little slower, but we're going to be, like, right next door. Because a lot of times, like, the anima tree is on the corner of the map a lot of the times, which is very convenient for not building near it. But you spend so much time walking out to this stupid thing that it's much better to just soak the minus 30% um, grass growing. It's like, I didn't realize that. Okay, geothermal, 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 geothermal. That was a pretty good start. Holy cow. We don't have a lot of rock, but that's okay. Holy cow, this is fantastic. Okay, so we have done, we've done a couple of runs more recently that were very aesthetic. Right, individual little buildings along a road. It looked very beautiful. But here we're going for like, like function. And one of the things I want to do is I want to build like a big mega structure. I want to feel like we've got one big fort, one big um, mansion or something like that. Uh, I mean, we'll probably still have an outer wall, but I want all my buildings, all, all my, my rooms to just be part of one big building. I don't think I'm even gonna do hallways and things like that. It's gonna be great. Okay, I'm gonna close some tabs. We got some extra resubs coming in. Sir Gawain at nine months. Nick is 20 months. The real brain bug at three months. Hey, big is at three months as well. Pondering elephant at 46 months. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, da, 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 da. Make sure, yes, yes, we need, we won't want a roof over it. So what I think I'm gonna do, um, it's gonna be a little bit boring, but I think we're gonna do our kind of our standard like 13 by 13 block size. The a 13, well, it doesn't have to be 13 by 13, really, it just needs to be 13 width, is the maximum width of a room you can have and still have everything roofed. You can have a longer room. You can't do an L shape without one pillar supporting it, but we're going to really base ourselves off that grid, and I'm definitely going to want to put walls around this thing, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to base the position in a grid based on where this anima tree is. So, if it's a 13 by 13 grid, I think like, yeah, seven, seven this way, um, which then leads to, like if we do this, then it's 13, oh, I may have started from the wrong square here. Oh, there we go, 13, 13, 13, 13. There we go. So we will be walling around here and leaving that in the middle. And yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna put a, uh, remove roof area here. Now, to not kill the anima tree, you just need to have no roof in the tile itself, but the anima grass will will die off without exposure to sun. So really we need this five by five area opened up. And I suppose while I'm at it, I'll just, I'll put down the meditation spots for our people. Now, all the tribals, as far as I know, start with um, the childhood a childhood background that unlocks the natural meditation type. Yeah. So they can all meditate at this tree and and boost it. Um, when we get extra pawns as we go forward, uh, it'll just depend on what their background is, whether or not they can aid in meditating at the tree. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and unforbid all the things. Doopy doopy doop. And I don't wanna start constructing here yet. Again, what we'll do, I just draw out a few more grids here, just. We got our growing areas over here. I'm just doing this so that we can, how's the volume? It feels like things might be a little loud. So I'm just doing this so that we kind of know where the 13 by 13, okay, yeah. I um, I actually did a full reinstall and cleared out all of my, um, 
I'm just going to bring down the master volume a bit and then that a little bit more. Um, I cleared out all the settings, everything, just to make sure everything's fresh. Okay, it was mostly okay. All right, you know what? Let me bring, I'll bring the master back up. I think it was at 80. I did bring down the music volume a little bit. Okay. Something like that. I think we're, we're going to want all of this growing area enclosed, actually. So let me just extend out the plan. I really want to try to be, uh, if we pull, pull this to 25, that'll be the same grid here. Um, there you go. It's just going to make it so much more convenient if we kind of know where our long-term walls will end up being. Even if we don't use it right now, that's going to be okay. Let me uh, remove the plan from over there because it looks a little derpy. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do... We're going to grow here. We're going to want to stockpile near that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that we're going to have a stockpile here. Sort of workspace, dining hall, rec room stuff kind of over here. And maybe we can have some bedrooms kind of flanking it. And a temple, ooh, not quite there, because we're not actually going to be able to build a wall here for our geothermal later, but we'll figure something out. Will you name the tame animals too? I don't think it will. I'm not running the uh, Twitch chat mod because I um, I think it might have been updated, but I didn't want to risk it and hey, things. Quill, so I don't know. It, we might name some animals. We may not. We got a new sub. Top Hopper. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, thanks for remembering to hit that Twitch Prime button. Twitch does not like to remind people about that. So um, it's not completely vanilla where we've got the expansions. And we got a couple of mods, mostly some some user interface mods. Like I, that way I can zoom out further for the sake of the video, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm also running Rim HUD, which makes this tooltip look like this. You can actually toggle it on and off. That's a normal view. This is this. That way you can see a little bit more, a little faster. But there are no mods that modify anything. The um, What Game Command has a link to uh, a Steam Workshop collection that has all the mods I'm running. It's just cosmetic stuff or user interface stuff. Um, Right, so what I'm gonna do right over here is we're gonna build our first structure. And because I'm not running replaced, yes, Glenn? I have a package. Maybe we should open it now. Huh? 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 Okay, first, let me put down a little thing. So we don't have a replace mod. So what I wanna do is just for convenience, I'm just gonna build slightly smaller than our actual 13 by 13 grid because then it'll be easier for me to build on the outside and then fix it after that um i'm gonna put down just a couple of doors. they take a little bit more material i don't know you know what no I'll put down i'll put down those over there and we are going to plan well, i mean we're gonna need some sleep spots obviously for our people so we're going to do this. Of course, tribal, we don't start with the ability to make beds. We could plop down some bed rolls, but that's not going to be very helpful. Uh, I'm just going to go and designate a chop wood command here. Now, here's the, uh, here's the question mark. How long do you think we're going to run today before I accidentally cut down the anima tree? Luckily, I already put the no roof zone on it. So, you know, that's at least one thing. But yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. Um... We're going to, yeah, we'll do the unboxing in a sec. Let me put down a, a couple more things here. We're going to get a grow zone set up. Uh, and we're going to put, I guess we can grow on the geothermal for now. I'm going to grow as much as possible just on the rich tile over here. And what's great now is we get a total size here. We get it as we drag, but we also get it in the UI. So the kind of rule of thumb, um, I used to think it was 10 tiles per person. But I guess it's more like 15, assuming a year-round grow period, which we do have here. So we want about 15 tiles worth of food for each person. Um, so that's 30, 60, 75 tiles of rice. Um, potatoes don't get very much advantage from fertility. They can ignore it as well. So if you've only got crappy tiles, you can grow potatoes there okay. But if you got rich soil like this, we really do want to grow rice or corn. And I used to do a lot of corn, but um, I don't know if we've gotten that point in the vanilla... Uh, my vanilla playthrough, but I realized it's probably better to grow rice. Even though it does take more harvesting like labor to do it, you get a more regular trickle of food in instead of one giant boost of it at the same time. So we're going to go rice over here. Um, also, I didn't realize how long rice lasts. It's like 45 days or something before it rots. It's ridiculous. 40 days? Something like that. So yeah, I want to grow this to at least, say, 75. Here, let's do a little bit more. And you know what? Just... 
Screw it. I'll fill, I'll fill in that square too, even though it's not rich soil. We'll fill that in. So it's 83 tiles. It's a little bit more than we need, but that's going to be okay. We could do part of it as corn just to be a little bit more work efficient, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and set that up. Um, now I'm going to set up some extra fields over here too, but I want the rice planted first. I suppose I could do the other fields and just turn off the sowing, but that's going to be okay. Um, and yeah, we are going to need some food ASAP, which means I'm also, do we not have uh, berry bushes? I mean, we do start with a little bit of pemmican, but yeah, all of our people start off malnourished, desperately hungry. Oh, there's some berry bushes there. Okay, I'm gonna set a harvest on those. We're gonna set up the work priorities real quick, and then, yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing. <laughs> uh, we'll do this. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about childcare right now, but yeah, we've got a new job over there for childcare. So, da, da, da. Uh, we'll disable hunting for a tiny tick. probably want a couple people on construct although ideally we are going to want to focus on just one person um ooh, you might have to just do the grow first i might have to bring zappers construct down a little bit yeah just grow and plant cut first and then you can construct in mine that'll make sense later on okay if i unpause now some basics will happen you know what? i'll turn on uh yeah doc villain you're also going to cook. There's no cooking to do right now, but that's going to be okay. All right, let's put it on speed one for a second. Oh, one more thing I'm going to do before we go and unbox. And then I'm going to read the more subs that just came in. I'm just going to make a little stockpile zone in here for a little bit. Excellent. Okay. So uh, we did get a few more subs in just now. Um, Scorpion at 51 months. Thank you very much. Catman Dose coming in at 106 months. Holy cow. Did you watch a bit of the U4 Greatest Land? I was, you were playing Hamburg, were you? No, I didn't watch it. I'm hoping to go back and check the VODs or maybe a highlight reel or something. That's excellent. Hope you hope you had fun. Crazy Canadian is resub for four months. Big Mitch is at 10 and Ariel Orbitson. A, 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 a Borson, thank you, sorry, at 29 months. Shall we do an unboxing? Oh yes, our pets. So um, we've got uh, a monkey, a horse, and a Yorkshire Terrier. Now, no one's bonded to any of these because we don't do bonding. So... We might just immediately butcher them. So lunch, yeah. And we didn't get any Huskies, which is annoying. The horse is useful. I just don't know if I'm gonna set up a pen right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, um, let's just take care of that immediately. I'm going to put, uh, I really want to do the unboxing. I'm just going to put the, uh, the butcher zone outside. Bill, uh, butcher creature, do forever. And yeah, you can butcher everything, even people. Because we don't care about that. And then um, I'll put a fueled stove. Uh, right, uh, that's, I suppose the door's there, so let me do that. Oh yeah, we don't start with any steel. So we're going to have to mine some immediately. Well, it's not a high priority that that gets made. Yeah, screw it. I guess actually our it's our planter that's also our primary miner. So until the planting gets done, the mining won't happen. So that's okay. All right, let's unbox some stuff. So I got a package from Glenn Hooch. Is that Hoochins? From the Hooch Master. It's heavy. And the customs form said it might have some books. And they also said, Glenn said that this would be something for both myself and Essentia. Okay, places where these <laughs> customs form got put became kind of annoying. Thanks, post office. Make it a little harder for me to get into here. Go away. Nobody likes you, plastic. You're destroying the environment. Just be very careful to not cut into the package. I should have grabbed my uh, my packing knife. Okay, box is opened. Ooh, it's got newspaper in here. I wonder what the local news is. Let's see. It's the uh, the Cherokee Life. Ooh, Riverfest is returning to Canton September 24th to 25th. In case anyone's wondering about that. Wait, what? 
This has got your name on it. Well, not. Did you write a book? A Golconda story. White Wolf? What? Storyteller Vault. It's White Wolf, World of Darkness. By G. Hutchins. Oh, there's a letter inside. Hold on one second. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh, yes. Signed copy, baby. Oh, it's my ninja. Thank you very much for the contribution to the whiskey and chocolate fund. Vampire masquerade settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little light needs to shine in the darkness. Glossary and character list. Is this an adventure? No, it's a novel. It's a novel. Patricia Heron was an inquiring and intelligent but naive journalist in the fictitious town of Little Tokyo, just north of San Francisco. She witnesses a murder, but then gets drawn into a deeper mystery when the crime is covered up. An addicting new drug, Vitae, is controlling people while citizens across the city disappear only to return as mutilated, partially healed corpses. Her plight increases exponentially when she becomes personally involved and finds her very life in peril. Indeed, she loses her life in a macabre transformation and begins to question her faith, her courage, and her very soul. Ogokonda's story follows the journey of Patty Heron as she seeks answers that take her across the globe. It touches upon the themes of what it means to be human. Tragedy, loss, hope, sacrifice, love. This novel's culmination of many years' work, the author resides in Georgia! Ooh! That's so cool! And look at, like, it's, just, it's huge! That's fantastic! I'm gonna read the letter, uh, I'm gonna read the letter afterwards here. Thanks, Glenn. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, congratulations on getting like published. Huge tracks of words. Yes. Okay. Let's uh let's get back to this before we accidentally die. <laughs> um Okay, overall, all right, this is fine. Planting is starting, which is great. So I got to remind me, okay, obviously doc villains are doctor. Oh yes, and are cook. Which is a little bit scary, but you know, uh, master of chopping up body parts? I mean, whether you're a butcher or a butcher, kind of all comes out the same, right? Do we have an animal handler set up? Okay, we did, good. Because I think the animal handler actually butchers, or actually will kill off the creature. I think I'm gonna kill off, uh, Rhett? If we get a pen quickly up, you can just graze. I think I'm gonna keep the horse. But uh, Swizzle the monkey, who's too small to handle anything. And Jemima, the tiny little uh, Yorkshire Terrier. That's that. Uh, will we see Vicky? She'll play Vicky on Tuesday. Well, you're actually going to see me play Vicky on Sunday. Not stream. There'll be a video for it. So look forward to that. That's going to be excellent. I'm really excited. Um, let me set up just a tiny little pen. I might actually use actual walls for this. What's the construction cost of a fence? One wood. Okay, and it's five wood for... So the fence is fine. And yeah, I'm not worried about constructing near the anima tree. Okay, I'm just gonna... This... I, there's no way it can stay here. We have to figure out something else. But I'm just gonna get a token pen done. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous pen marker. Go. Oh, that's true, a caravan spot. Will they feed themselves? I guess they will, right? Because, yeah, they're going to get hitched over here. All right, let me just do that. Okay, that's going to be fine. Yeah, we got the Psychite tea, which is fine. Um, I was going to schedule people to drink the Psychite tea every couple of days, but I realized we have one person with a Psychite addiction, so we're really going to have to prioritize letting them have first crack of the tea. Found you and Shenry are ages ago through Vicky too. Oh, cool. Uh, yes, prepaint eggshell is a brand new game. Just started today with the biotech expansion. So I guess now Rhett won't uh, won't wander away. So how do they still eat just fine with the caravan spot? Do they just eat the grass nearby. What's the deal? All right. So no one is idle currently. They're just having a little bit of a break. That's planting. And yeah. So is Zapper a miner? 
Yeah, our grower and our miner. Despite having double passion in construction, I really think we're gonna have to do something like that. So they'll grow and plant cut, which is very important. Then they'll mine because no one else is doing it. So Valinor is really gonna be, yeah, Valinor is definitely gonna be a production specialist. Can we create that now or do we have to wait? We need a ritual spot. I, I'm thinking we can make Valinor our production specialist like instantaneously. If I go, I love the new subdivision of things into categories here. Uh, if I go and put a, a ritual spot down directly, I'm trying to remember, like, if we were to go and make you... Oh! You're not you're not quite skilled enough yet. Okay, we'll have to wait a level. I can't remember if Engineer can still do all the tasks or whatever. Okay, so we'll just wait a little bit here over here. Let me sweet, tweak the schedule. So in the past, what I've been doing a lot of is this, you know? Go to bed when it's dark, everyone go to bed at the same time, and then just sleep until you can get up, and that's fine. And then um, at some point I realized, you know what, a little bit of in specific enforced recreation time is quite good. Um, at the same time, then they can bond together, which is really great. But in our case, we actually are gonna do meditation, which is not usually something I have been scheduling in the past, but medica meditation gives some amount of recreation, um, and meditating at the anima tree will start to produce anima grass for us, and then once we reach 20 anima grass, we can sidelink someone to the tree and develop psychic powers. And we could have like, uh, I think there's up to five levels of it, so we can have like the same person do it five times, we can have a bunch of people do it and get a bunch of level ones. I mean, probably it makes sense to get one person powered up to five first, because there's some really powerful abilities. So we're gonna try to take advantage of that as we go forward here for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Jess Kitty, thanks for the sub. Da, da, da. Yeah, our vibe here is the mad scientist one. <laughs> mad scientist is our vibe. Now, again, we, it's weird that there's nothing in here specifically tied to genetics. I, 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 I'm hoping there's attention. something. And again, I'm sure there'll be mods. A tree! Hey, everyone's remembering those uh, Twitch Prime subscriptions. It's great, because if you don't use them... I mean, I guess it makes Twitch happy, because they don't have to pay any content creators. But yeah. All right. Crappy little barracks for now. It's going to have to be fine. Uh, our first research project, I think, will be complex furniture so we can get people proper beds. We'll have to get some uh, research labs done. We'll get that going pretty soon. Our grass is mostly planted. We got a little pemmican left. Okay, um, I believe Doc Villain was... Okay, you've got passion. You're double passion for shooting. Oh, you're best shooter. Okay, Valinor's a best shooter. I'll give you that. Also, I love that built in now to the options menu is um, showing the showing what weapons are equipped. I used to run a mod that will show it while drafted, but now it's built into the game. And actually, I like having it always because I can keep track of things. Oh, a uh, Ram Pendragon's also excellent with the bow. We don't have any brawlers. I don't think we have anyone uh, with melee passion that doesn't also have shooting passion. So we are going to look for more ranged stuff. I believe the Pila is a ranged weapon. We'll give it to you, and then the other two will just give you some melee weapons just so that you've got them. Okay. I'm also going to go and, in case we get a mad animal, like, you can immediately just fight. I'm going to restrict everyone to herbal medicine, which is all we've got right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and under food restrictions, I don't want anyone to eat a raw corpse or raw food, although raw berries is fine and insect jelly. I mean, there's always a 2% chance that you get sick from those, but they're generally okay. And it doesn't give the eight rod food debuff. So yeah, I wanna be fairly restrictive over here with that. Valinor is gonna finish this room. Let's get a torch inside the house. <gasps> there's my 30 minute timer. I'm gonna check, I'm, I'll check on the uh, pizza. Insect jelly is basically honey, yeah. Okay, give me two seconds. You gotta check the door. Um, dismiss.
Okay, nothing yet. I'm gonna set a ten minute timer. Sun's just up there too, but I didn't want to make her do a bunch of extra work today for an extra stream. Okay, we got idlers, that's not good. Let's put in some a low priority plant cut craft, which doesn't actually matter because we're not crafting right now. They can help cut down some trees. Low priority mining as well. Okay, I'm just going to reset people. There we go. But what I really want is I want research. We need some steel, so we'll have to do some mining for that first. We're going to set up a research bench. And in fact, I think we're going to set up three in here. I posted a screenshot earlier in Discord of me doing this, actually. Or was it last night? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know what this fence... Probably just crap. Apparently, I'm going to be running up in the, in the stairs a few times here for the pizza, so we'll do we'll do some stretches and squats a little bit later. Right now, I'm getting my workout running up and down the stairs. <laughs> there you go. Just go and whack that. I mean, you know, not particularly skilled at mining, but let's get a little bit of that going on. And then, yeah, we can get ourselves the fueled stove and the research bench going. Zapper's going around cutting down some trees. Lovely. So we're gonna be due soon to get like a. I think the first thing we get is a is a animal, a man hunting animal. I set a bill here. I'm gonna really try to avoid overdoing it. Simple meals and one time simple meal, and do until we have ten of each. Uh, we got a bork on the construction. That's annoying. That again, Valinor is only a four right now, so there's gonna be a few of those. <laughs> also, you had a name redeem. I don't know what you mean by a name redeem. If you just met someone, put in some points. Yeah. So, oh, Gene C. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to wait. We're, that's going to be when we get new people. We're going to pull some people in. I mean, I suppose we could rename our horse if we're going to keep it around. We could consider that. But right now, at the uh, the queue is for pawn names. Yeah, is it possible to incorporate the human ideology? So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any ideological changes with the biotech mod. <laughs> Rename horse meat. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have a few meals kicking around. Doc Villain's gonna have to feed us until we can get uh, a nutrient paste, which normally I don't run just because of the mood debuff. Because it's like, it's minus four from nutrient paste. I think it's minus four. But really it's more than that because I think you normally plus four from a fine meal. So it's really an eight point mood swing. So I much prefer feeding people fine meals, but these guys won't mind with their ideology. Name horse to lunch. <gasps> Glitter hoof. Now we can't kill it. Glitter hoof, perfect. All right, research lab is up and in fact, we're going to build a couple more. And I'm going to try to keep a lot of people fairly idle so that we can research as quickly as possible. Um, let's get a table in here. Although we don't have chairs yet. We can build benches. Um, like stools. There you go. It's going to be a little compact, but it's going to be okay. There you go. So meditation is happening. So it's going to start spawning uh, grass. And yeah, we're going to get the like focus impacted. If we look here, we can see yeah, more minus 26. It'll go all the way down to minus 30, but then it'll stop there. That seems great. Harsh the butt stallion from, yes, from uh, um, Borderlands. Borderlands 2 specifically. Bum, 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 bum. And yeah, it'll give them a little entertainment too. I mean, at some point, they'll get bored of it, especially as we... I mean, it's not going to take long for us to crack 15 grand. Like, we're already sitting at over 10 grand here. 15 grand is, I think, when we're going to have to assign some roles, and I think they'll want another source of recreation. I could plan a hoopstone ring thing immediately. You know, I'll put it over here, because they can go and play, um, like, where the crops are growing. Speaking of, let's plant a little bit more here. So, let me just turn this on, make it a little easier for me to see the green edges. Heal root. Oops. Wanted a new one. We don't need a ton of heal root. Maybe that much? It might be way too much, actually, but I don't know. Um, heal root. Yeah, we don't even have the skill for it right now, so. Um, 
We want some cotton, because some things need cloth regardless. But I'm really going to be looking to go to Devil's Strand as quickly as possible. But I'll grow some cotton over here. We could do some hay for kibbling and also if we're going to be traveling with our horses. Maybe I'll do a tiny little bit of hay. I don't think we're going to need much. Well, and I, actually, I don't even know if hay cares about fertility. It might be a terrible use for fertile grounds, but... Yeah, it's only 60%, but I guess it's still... I mean, it's still going to help. Just not as much. We'll grow a little bit of hay. Oh, die for the new mechanic. You're right. We're going to grow one strip of Tinctor over here. And then, I guess I should start growing Psychoid, because we're going to do Psychoid tea stuff. It could also be pretty salable. Well, we'll have to find somewhere else to, um... And yeah, this is all this is vanilla, that overlay. Uh, yes, thank you. I gotta put the rebuild. And... Yes, this is kind of annoying. I am gonna do... I'm going to try to remember it, but I'm going to turn off the automatic housing expansion. Because one thing I've realized is... You really want to avoid any housing zone you don't need to have. Because it leads to all sorts of extra little cleaning. And now, see, if I've done this, then I can put everyone to, like, clean number one priority, for example. And I'm just going to clean this one little room. It's going to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to, like, mass paint everything right now. I'm going to have a little bit of it so we can maybe do some dyes or something. Yeah, I you know what? I don't even think it's worth starting the Tintora. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to expand the uh, Psychoid. Go there. Okay. Yeah, we even have a Psychoid Addict. They won't fight fires. I'll have to pay attention to that. But until v Vanilla RimWorld has, like, a specific cleaning zone implemented, as opposed to a generic home zone, I think that's going to be okay for us. Okay, get a few berries over here. That's good, because we are almost out of food. I think we're going to have to grow more berries or go hunting. Uh, we can hunt. Um, I don't want to hunt too much right now, because it'll rot really quickly. We can hunt an Ibex Ram. So, hunting is currently disabled. I believe our best shooter... Our best shooter is Ryan Pendragon, although Val Valinor is also really good at it. So I'm going to put them both on a one. Flamebeard's got the double passion thing. Is that actually from shooting? It is, although you're not great at it yet. So I'll just put those two. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot of this we can't grow right now because we don't have the skill, but that's, that's okay. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I set the complex furniture first. No, I want stone cutting first so we can build our actual walls. Yeah, so I'm hoping to avoid overloading people so that everyone just starts researching here. We're going to kind of, like, put a pause on anything we don't need. We have a random visitor. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we're just hoping that people become idle and start researching. Well, I suppose what I might do for... Well, yeah, right, no one's got research passion. But I might put Rhyme and Zapper on a three. Oh, Zapper doesn't haul anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I'd say for Rhyme, we might want it before any hauling jobs. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of UI mods. But yeah, nothing that changed the gameplay. Just lets me zoom out further. Oh, and my favorite for, like, cinema thematic stuff. Um, I guess no one's moving right now, so it'll, it wouldn't be a great example. All right, we can watch Grinder, The follow me mod. Oh, actually, some of my people are moving in. You, Zapper. I guess he got hungry doing all that meditating. There we are. Oops. I like this. <gasps> pizza, pizza, pizza. Hooray! Yeah, I like to follow me. It doesn't do anything, but just have the camera follow someone is fantastic. All right, going to bed. Yeah, so we're going to do stone cutting first so that we can build what is going to be our actual proper walls. I guess I'll put a dumping stockpile. Um, let me put it over here for now. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to want to maybe on the inside what walls will be. It's kind of moot, but I'll do an 11 by 11. Dumping stockpile. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it a uh, preferred. And I'll get my pizza in a second. I'm not going to allow rotten corpses. I will allow raw resources that's not plant matter. So that way my metal and stuff will preferentially go here and stay outside. All right, let me get my pizza. Be right back.
right. So it's going to be a see-through box. Ooh, see-through. Who sent this? KG. Thank you, KG. Or Kagi. I don't know how you want your name said. Ghost pizza. Spicy Hawaiian. It's got jalapeno, ham, pineapple. Oh, and look how well it's cooked. Nice and brown. Oh. Oh, that's good. I suppose I could have talked to Grinder here, see if they had anything useful, but. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, that villain's throwing a party. I mean, I don't want anyone having mood breaks right now, so I guess that's okay. How's it Hawaiian pizza if there's no Hawaiians on it? <laughs> Hawaiian pizza made with real Hawaiians. There we go. Research is beginning. And yeah, I'm just going to try to avoid. It's real hard for me. My instinct is definitely to overload people. But I'm going to try to avoid overloading people too much. And let people... Are they still partying? Oh yeah, they're still partying. And let people get some research going on here. I guess these stools are probably going to go pretty soon, but it'll be useful for now. They won't eat at the table without chairs, so may as well put that down. I suppose I could have put a stool here. Theoretically, someone could sit and do the research at the same time. But there you go. Oh yeah, people are doing some hauling, which is fine, actually. The mining here got basically completed. Wonderful. And yeah, the chunks of steel are just being hauled a little closer. We don't have much in the way of food. Let's hunt a little bit more. I'm hunting, not taming, right? Yeah, sometimes I click the wrong column. Get that Ishin Timberborn bunch of projects you don't want to prioritize them all. There's our mad rat. So there's always a mad. Oh, it sucks that it happened at point blank range. That's actually really annoying. Okay, Rhyme, I'm gonna try to get you to move back and make get a little bit of distance. Yeah, just try to kite. Hopefully Valinor can shoot it. Now, one of the things that's nice about 1.4 is under gameplay, so by in in previous versions, you'd have to pause on major threat. That was built in as a check mark, but now we can pause on any threat. It's just it sucks. The rat started at point blank range. Oh, there we go, it's dead. Perfect. I didn't think I would need to bring everyone, but I want to be careful. So, okay, you're going to go rest, which is good. Any real injuries from the rat? Okay, some scratches. It does suck that you're going to be on the ground here. I hope you don't get an infection. That's the big threat right now. 48% 10 quality. On the ground. A witch mod, you can select all the resources to mine. So I'm not running it, but there's a mod called Allow Mod, or Allow Tool, which is fantastic. And that's one of the ones you can click here and then right click, um, and it, you can mine the entire vein. I mean, there's also vein miners and things, but Allow Tool actually uh, has tons of cool stuff built in. So that would definitely be it. And it is working in 1.4, but I'm trying to avoid too many things. Shin has it out for rhyme. <laughs> the Revenge of Shin. So we did a run where we started with the rat and... We built the whole religion basically around it, inadvertently. All right, no infection, no, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Okay, we're gonna eat the rat now. Only fair. Okay. So we must have, why is that blinking? Contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. <gasps> is this part of the biotech stuff? Oh, baby! I'm surprised you're not in bed, but I guess I guess you didn't get infected. 
ancient mech. Oh, there we go. Passing near the remains of the ancient Exostrider mechanoid, Rhyme Pendragon noticed an intact transponder and said, Inside, if you can get the transponder, you could read valuable information from it. The massive mech is smashed and fused into a solid piece. You must destroy it to retrieve the transponder. Be careful. The incendiary weapon cell looks unstable and will likely detonate after some damage. Interesting. Is it bad if it goes off? Like, obviously, if we're mailing it, that could be bad. But I'm wondering, like, is, do you have to, like, try to sneak in and then retrieve it before it explodes? Yeah, I, I figure I'll just kill it from a distance, but yeah. I still hope research would be done a little faster. I suppose I could delay the meditation for now. You know what? I think I will. Eh, psychic powers are so good, though. Or tribal hit it with club. <laughs> I guess I guess you're fine. Yeah, I don't know. Are we feeding it, or is it just grazing off the ground when you've got the caravan hitching spot? Rhyme's already up. Oh, he wasn't. He did spin. Oh, did that thing just leave the map? Oi! Could hunt the muffalo because they're a little closer. There's a chance that they break though. Dang it. You come all dude. I guess you can't eat a meal because we have Oh, there's there's food here. Doc villain? Get your ass out of bed. Butcher. We got some starving people here, man. Come on. There you go. Uh Muffalo's still non milkable in vanilla, I think so. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Oh, you did complete hunting another deer. Another, yeah, that's good. Doc? Okay, good, you're butchering immediately. Thank you. And then Rhyme's gonna get to eat, which is good, because Rhyme was starving. And then some more meals cooking. Okay. And yeah, the Psychite's slowly being drunk. Who's the, uh, who's the addict? Oh, it is, uh, it is Rhyme Pendragon here who's the addict for Psychite, but the tea's there. And yeah, I, I, I didn't realize, like, for so long, I didn't realize how good the tea was. Like, as long as you don't drink it more than every two days, there's no random overdose chance. There's a, there's a random chance to get addicted. But yeah, all it does is it lowers your tiredness and lowers your pain a little bit. And it um, it gives you... You do get the Psychite high buff. I guess you're not high right now. Yeah. There you go. There's another critter there. Doc's refilling the... Um, <laughs> we're butchering animals right now. Or glitter hoof. Oh! What are we going to call our faction? Yeah, Psychite is much better than Smoke Leaf, which I didn't realize. I would use Smoke Leaf, but it lowers consciousness, which gives you a debuff to like a million different things. Technotron. Bionic babies. God, I mean, we are like, we, we're, we're sort of like questing to become as gods, really, is our thing. The genes, the godlings. Ooh, I kind of like that. Children's of Tech. The Dreamers of God. I kinda like the Godlings. The Brussels Snouts! Oh my god, if we done the pork, the, the pig people! Architect Garden, Rainbow Tribe, the G Initiative, Lab Number 18. The God Goons. Children of the Atom is pretty good. The Unsung Gods. You know what? I like that one, Killer Dove. We are the unsung god. Um, should we have the the? I can't remember how it's going to list it in places. I'll leave the the in there. If it turns out it's redundant, you can change this in dev mode. I used to run a mod to let you change this, and then I realized you can change your faction and your, at least your settlement name in um, in dev mode. Hawaiians on pizza. Um... What are his unsug gods, comma the? What are we gonna call our fa our actual settlement? God town. I mean, lab eighteen or something like that is interesting. The tech temple. Mega city one. Oh, in um, 
in One Punch Man, what is that evolution place that's like in episode three or whatever? They got some name like that. Uh, Flying at Hobbit, if you do exclamation mark what game, they'll be linked to the mod list. Socket 1.1, Classic Brussels, something with the tree. We do have the tree, the tree of knowledge. Oh, the House of Evolution. That's what it is. Thank you. That's what we're going to be. We're going to be the House of Evolution. Perfect. Done. I've never done it, but I did read that you can change it in dev mode. I'm like, oh, there's one mod I don't need anymore. Because, yeah, there's a little mod over here that let you rename your stuff. Because it feels sometimes like you, uh, wow, we have more idlers. I should really, I don't know if we can cram more research labs in here. I mean, technically, yes, I can. Kind of just need some extra busy work. I mean, I guess I've got some low priority mining on people. I could just mine. I don't want to overload us with resources, but we are going to burn through a bunch of steel pretty quickly. I could put a couple of these outside. I mean, they can be moved after, which is nice. There you go. More research. Soon, we, you're right, we will be filling time with uh, block cutting. Okay, there's a wild man over here, gray. No health problems. Oh, he has, oh, he's a Neanderthal. Mmm. So I'm not terribly interested into his genes, unfortunately. Delicate, nimble. I mean, he's not, that's not even very great. I don't think we're going to try to tame the Neanderthal man here. Dinner time. <laughs> um, because there's a chance he'll snap. What's our best animal handler? Flame beard's an eight. Why is the shooting seal red? I believe it's because oh, check it out. We can. There's a jeans button. Hey, hey. I believe it's because he's got something that's debuffing his range from his genetics. Oh, poor shooting, right here. See that? That's why. So yeah, he has a genetic thing. You'll also see people with green. Um, I don't know if we have anyone. No, but some people will have genetics that will highlight one of these things as green because they're getting a boost from it because of their genes. Yeah, so I mean, we definitely don't want him in the thing. We could just hunt him for meat. I mean, we don't care. I don't think humans are particularly meat efficient, though. Does wild man show up in this list? Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's got a 50% chance to snap, so let's not do that. Let's hunt a little bit more deer. Although, I think our rice is nearly ready to get here. But yeah, we'll hunt a little bit more, just to make sure we're okay. So the quill, their tribals don't got genes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, really, they had a little gene button here. Nice. Yeah, and even their randomly generated hair is like a genetic trait that they can be inherited. That's interesting. Yeah, so eventually, yes, we're going to be extracting favorable genes. So we're going to use bionics and genetic manipulation to turn ourselves into gods. Plus sonic powers. It's going to be amazing. Well, or we'll all die, which is entirely possible. Let's do a little, uh, there you go. Let's do a little save for unsung gods. In case something bad happens. Why are there two gene buttons? Oh. You know what? I'm betting it's one of my mods. Oh, no. Okay. This is the germline. This is our genetic actual genes. Okay. This one here is our implanted. Genome germs are things implanted in us, which um, uh, can be done on the fly and aren't necessarily inheritable. It is a little weird that it's the two. Yeah, it's germ genes and neon genes. I wonder if it's related to my HUD mod. Oh! Actually, yeah, it looks like by default there's no gene button. I guess what we do is we'd look at ourselves and then click here, and then presumably maybe on health or something like that, it would include the um, the the ex the add-on ones. But yeah, with the rim HUD, that's it's a mod that's adding these buttons, which is very convenient, but it's a little weird. And yeah, I, I just have it so that people can see people's stats a little bit quicker and easier. How's Rhyme Pen Dragon idle? Like, oh, because we don't have anything queued up in the research queue. Okay, uh, we're going to go for complex furniture next. And um, just for a moment, they're going to get moved for sure. But I'm going to build at least one stonecutter's table. I'm actually tempted to throw down two. 
I think I will. And we'll want them indoors, but I'm just going to build it outdoors first. And then, yeah, this map has marble and granite. Or no, and limestone. That's what it is. Ooh, random cargo pods. With duck eggs. Hmm, all right. Eggs. It's what's for breakfast. So I'm going to set up bills for granite first because it's the ideal material for walls. It's the hardest we've got. I'm going to put a limit of, like, a single stack, which is 75. Make granite blocks. Um, yeah, until we have X. And we'll set up two jobs over here. And, yeah, we have a bunch of people on, like, a low-level craft. We're going to start making that. <laughs> We have, I guess we could do this so we could get our psychite refining, but no, I want complex furniture. Right, complex furniture first. Uh, if we had a great planter, I'd want to go for Devil's Strand right away, but we don't have the skill for it. I think you need 10 for the Devil's Strand, so we're going to have to work our way up. Um, yeah, maybe drug production after the complex furniture, actually. So we can keep the psychite tea going. All right, there's our first raid. It should be a single melee, mostly naked. Five melee skill. Kind, quick, sleeper, beautiful. It's a little early to be kidnapping someone. But if they do happen to survive, we might imprison them. Wow. Yeah, no passion for skills, unfortunately. That's disappointing. Just pure melee, and then we can have you haul and clean. But that's pretty helpful. I mean, socially, they're going to get along great with everyone. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Who's that? A resub from... Oh! Asphalt! Thank you very much! Almost four years official. The time before when I just stalked you silently is embarrassing long, long that I don't like to talk about it. Ha ha ha! Um, yeah, we don't even have a single granite block made yet. How come? I guess they started researching first. Let me just reset. Some people should go and craft instead. Ooh, and harvest. Wait. That's because I said granite instead of limestone. No. No. Shut up. We don't have granite. We have limestone. Which is almost as hard as granite. Right? Yeah. Shut up. Leave me alone. Alright. Limestone chunks. There we go. Okay. Tribes people living on their salt. So, I mean, they're not ranged. So, we don't actually have to worry about cover. What we want to do is... I'm going to attempt to kite... Um, I think the Pila is ranged. Let me just reorder people here. That is not new, by the way, but no one knows that it's a feature. Um, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to have Doc and Zapper sort of stand in front, and I'll try to kite around my uh, my people. This is the biggest thing with camera mod. I like zooming out and be able to show everyone the picture, but the big thing is that it like changes their name to a red dot. makes it a hell of a lot easier to see what's going on. Alright, who are you going for? You're going for Doc Villa. Perfect. You're still going for Doc? Excellent. Yeah, keep... Oh, I need to make sure that you don't get closer to any of my ranged people. Because then you'll change targets. really support having another person right now. Oh, they even have a, like, faster loss factor because they're kind. Do we capture them? I mean, we don't have room for prisoner, but what I can do is I can just do this. We'll have to fix this really soon, but we're about to start new construction. They're just meat. Or dinner. Okay, let's do a poll. Uh, where's the poll? Manage poll. New poll. Um, 
downed person. Capture. Kill. And I'll just do a little... Oh, I guess one minute's the shortest thing to do. And start pull. There you go. So, there should be a little bouton in the chat that you can choose to vote. What we're going to do with this person that we've downed. Oh, Capture's easily leading and winning this. It's not even going to be close. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, Doc, come over here and capture this person, who we will rename at some point. I mean, they brought their own medicine. So, you know, that, that's, that's going to be good, right? Okay, so with our... I guess we didn't actually finish a limestone block yet. Show skills. This person's skills, all they have is fighting skills. They have no... No actual crafting or anything like that. Um, Doc? Are you really going to treat them diagonally? Well, that's funny. Because <laughs> this, this this does count as enclosed in the room, this diagonal. That's really weird. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Just for now. I'm going to halt this meditation. There you go. We need, we need some work. You have a power claw? Yeah. Alright. Structure. Oops, I was already there. Limestone walls. Excellent. 25. Uh, I'll do that here too, but I'm going to get this enclosed first. None of my people have beds right now. I mean, they, I guess they didn't have beds already. Hey, cool. They're going to be sleeping outside. Hey, Ninja Tours! Thanks for subbing! So, we need to go and convert them. Oh, I do have the... Um, the I can't remember what this mod is called. Um, but after they're done converting, it'll automatically queue up recruiting them so that I don't forget to hit that button. Yeah, you're right. If I demolish the wall, the prison would be broken. So, yeah, we're not going to do that quite yet. <laughs> also, none of this food is accessible to my people right now. So what I should do is get rid of these little sleep spots and maybe very quickly enclose this room here. Um, who's our... We got some bits... Oh, we got some gift subs! Pondering Elephant! Thank you very much for the gift subs. Best constructor is Valinor. One thing, when I play on my own, everyone gets nicknames that are based on what their jobs are or what their expertise are. So hey, I cool. remember hey, who the hell is what. Subscriber. Uh, Fate, thank you very much for your sub as well. Okay, there we go. The, it's not so much that I was worried about them, like, sleeping out of doors, but all the food and everything was part of the prisoner room, so no one would have been able to eat anything. Because it would all count it as food for the prisoner. Yeah, right now the horse is just tied outside, and it turns out that's fine. Caravan hitching spot just, I guess, makes a little... a little pen around it. We should move it a little further away. I mean, it's still grass. I haven't watched. I don't know if people are feeding it meals. I don't know if it needs to eat. Oh. Oh! Yeah, homogen farm. So this is just to keep pulling blood out of them. So is there an operation for that? Yeah, extra extract hemogen pack. So that to extract blood for our vampire people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can remove this now. Because this will still be enclosed. I mean, in fact, I can remove a bunch of this. And this will still count as part of this room. Deconstructing does come later than construct. No, no, vampires are just a myth. Um, apparently, so in here, you will get people who are vampires, but they're secret vampires. They'll pretend they're part of another gene line. But they're actually vampires. Which reminds me of Dwarf Fortress, of course. I don't know how that's going to work in here. I just know that's a thing. Most like the Bard from Dwarf Fortress. I mean, Dwarf Fortress was one of the big inspirations of the game. That and uh, Prison Architect. 
In fact, the uh, pawns looked like the prison architect art in the early version of RimWorld, with permission. Hey, Cookie. I'm doing great. I'm, how can I not be? I'm so excited for hey, uh, RimWorld Biotech. Who that? Oh, a gift from Zalior. <laughs> a, oh, frick, a lynx is hunting us. Oh, cause we are, we are sleeping outside. Like, fair. Can you change targets? You're still going after Valinor, currently. Still going after Valinor. As soon as you get hit, you're gonna change your target. Okay, because now you're going to revenge mode. So now this Lynx is attacking Zapper. So Zapper's gonna try to run away. That it's slightly annoying. I guess I could have kept my mailers a little further away in the first place. That is some damage here. Alright, you know what? Turn around and just melee it. Shit, got down. That was mishandled. Oh my god, it's hitting us in the legs immediately. Get closer. I didn't realize that Lynx was going to be such a death machine. What the hell? Holy crap! I didn't think for a second that would come close to that kind of damage. I should have taken that much more seriously, but like, I mean, it's going to be fine. Zapper. Rescue Doc Villain, who unfortunately is our doctor. Oh, we're gonna get so many fucking infections here. Oh my god. Not dead yet. Terrible. This is going to be really bad, you guys. I, oh, wow, did I ever not expect that to be so much of a problem. I, I should have handled it differently, but I thought, nah, it's fine. Oof. Okay, no one's currently bleeding. Everyone's been treated. On the filthy floor with tons of blood around. No, not refueling. I know the cat's not dead yet. Valinor, you're still up? Okay, eat yourself a meal. Come over here. Good way to practice your shooting seal. There you go, thanks. All right. No infection yet. No infection yet. Yeah, the Neanderthal stole one of the meals. Alright, Doc's up, which is good. Uh, we have a few meals inside. Okay. Which we're gonna continue to ignore for now. Any more links around? Ugh. As if they don't have better people to hunt than us. Okay, I think we're okay. I think if there had been an infection, we would have gotten hit by now. I think I can cancel the bed rest. Back to work. Doc's gonna cook some more meals. There we go. Most of the uh, most of the limestone has been delivered over here. It just needs to be constructed. 
Yeah, Valinor was sleeping outside. That's true, too. That did not make life easier. Uh, venison's rotting away. Oh, I didn't realize we were actually sitting on some meat that hadn't been cooked yet. Come on, Doc. Zapper's in pain. Hold on. I want to finish this meal first. Oh, Zapper's up again. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, construction's happening. Rain sucks, they'll be unhappy. Yeah, I know these sleep spots are medical. That was intentional. I can flip it back now. There's not actually not enough sleep spots for everyone. Okay, complex furniture is done. Um, yeah, we'll, we, we can just grab this. Electricity, I don't think we've, we've really got the support for it quite yet. Go that way. Go that way. We've got complex furniture now, yeah? Yeah, so we'll be building some proper beds in here as soon as it's enclosed. sleep indoors. I mean, no matter what, they're sleeping on the floor and in the terrible barracks. It's a good thing that we're sitting on, like, we still have the extremely low expectations and the initial optimism. Although the initial optimism is not to go away. What we need to do as well is we need to get... Uh, oh, ideology. Virtual spot. Just put outdoors because it doesn't matter, although I don't want it to be happening in the rain. I'm going to give someone the, um, the role. Who's your best chatter? Rhyme Pen Dragon. So, Rhyme, you're going to get the role of Moral Guide, which very soon are people going to look for it anyway. But this is going to lock our ability to use the uh, Convert Power. We could also Convert Ritual, but until we have a Temple, the Convert Ritual is not going to be very useful. So, Convert. There we go, 40% swing. There you go, and it flipped. They are now part of Mad Scientism, so now we should be automatically trying to recruit them. Lovely. Oh. Um. I'm gonna hold off on this. Actually, I'm gonna turn off. I don't want goodwill, and I don't want honor right now. Just give me quests for items. Oops. There you go. Let's not worry about this one. Just give me quests for items. It's the only thing I care about currently. They don't even have that much resistance. Okay, oh yeah, we needed some more blocks to be able to finish this. Everyone's gonna hate being in the rain. Yeah, ideally I would have more people not working. So that we could have everyone doing this. Box back in here. Can you uh, prioritize cooking here? Although I actually good on meals, but make a few more. Almost preferentially. I kind of should set a job that's, like, meat cooking first. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, meat and animal products. There you go. Uh, we are cooking human meat. Oh, we can go insects as well. Actually, we weren't cooking human meat. There you go that on. We don't mind any of that. So yeah, because the meat products rot a lot faster than the plant products, so we want them consumed first. I almost lost two people to an angry cat. I haven't lost any body parts. Hopefully no one's going to develop a bunch of uh, painful scars or anything. Yeah, we got a few bite scars and things. It's not ideal. There you go. Research. Research faster. They make me a few blocks. Complete the construction. Oh, I should shop here. That way the people with the the plant skill. Yeah, so Zapper hopefully will cut this rather than one of our constructors. Because they're going to be much faster at that. Yeah, did I... What did I do? I think I am chopping. Yeah, I must have because it would have selected other plants. Yeah. So technically, this, these, there's a couple of immature trees here that won't be chopped, because it only chops trees of a certain percentage that, that would actually generate wood. But I'm also going to do this, because I want our plant cutters to try to do that. Because Valinor is not going to be quite as quick, because he wants to roof things now, but that's fine. Or I said she. I can't remember. Who's the only male? Is it Rhyme? Nope. Zapper's the only male. I guess Zapper's got a beard. That'll make it a little easier to spot. 
Dun, dun, dun. And then we're gonna need some light in here. That's the wrong spot in the center. Ideally, I want the light before the construction, but I suppose I should turn this off right now because the rain will keep putting that out. Just to save time, I should probably like deconstruct that little bit first. You know, I could probably put everyone on like a level four for construction, just so that I can do something like that for convenience. There you go. Oh, apparently. Wait, why are you cutting the roof first, Flamebeard? Oh, maybe because I forced a construction job. Yeah, there we go. I forced a construction job, so you want to keep going. Now, it's still slow through here because you got to go through the desk, but technically it becomes possible. All right, I'm going to unforbid that. A wark is self-tamed. Sounds like lunch to me. I'll tell you to go to the home area. Oh, speaking of home areas... And yeah, we'll use the uh, the new shells to be able to stack more things. New attack warg? I mean, I suppose we could. But we have to feed them right now. I just don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's a great idea, currently. Yeah, it'd be a great guard. Like, if this was a little bit later, it'd be fantastic. Right now, it's lunch. Because of its proximity, it's going to get grabbed for um, stone cutting pretty quickly. Anyway, not so much the marble, though. Okay. Let me get some beds so our people can sleep more comfortably. That's going to be the next thing. Okay, this area is going to be morphed into a full just stockpile. So I'm going to want, like, production things kind of over here. I think I'll put the beds over in this corner. So I'm going to go one, two, three... Four, five. With an untable over there. Actually, I may as well build the sixth bed immediately, because I don't think it's going to take that long for us to recruit uh, build the logo here, which will get renamed once they get uh, recruited. Um, we actually would recruit them a little better if they were in a better mood. But. Oh. Hang on. I guess you have nothing to do. I should turn that back off. But okay, four construct may have backfired a little bit over there. Those are some shitty ass beds. Let's not worry about it for now. I guess on the plus side, so a worse bed here will reduce um, rest effectiveness, which is not good. It is keeping our wealth a little lower, I suppose. Yeah, look at this excellent bed. Who's gonna get the excellent bed? I don't think it. Does anyone have like a built-in mood debuff? Doc is a pessimist, so even though Doc went and effed up those other beds. I'm going to give Doc the excellent bed, because they are, have kind of a cranky mood. Give the excellent bed to the prisoner. I mean, I could throw it in there for now, but... Hey, uh... Kiptosarian? I don't know how to parse your name, but thanks for the break, sub. Long-time watcher, first-time commentator! Pretty high form point four. took the day off. Nice! Yeah, we'll upgrade these beds because I do want the comfort. We're building the end table over here. So the end table, you don't need one per bed. They just need to touch a bed. And diagonals work for this. Um, and they increase the uh, the comfort of the beds. We could even throw in some um, uh, some dressers for that. Oh, uh, so. Cancel those. So they actually go and claim proper beds. And let me just expand the stockpile zone. And then we're going to move these research labs. I'm just going to put them... There we go. Nothing makes my bed meal more comfortable and tables on my toes on. Yeah, but it's at the head. Although, Zapper, who's sleeping here, is going to have a bit of a... Annoying time getting. I guess you just walked over Valinor. It's fine. No one cares. Hey, God, thanks for the resub. 15 months, one month for every 10 children Zapper will have. <laughs> what the heck? Uh. 
we probably need don't need all five, but there was a time when everyone was idle. And actually, I would really like it if we can get to the point where like it fits in. We probably only needed three, but all three were used and we had an idler at some point. I was like, screw it, I'm gonna build all five. And heck, we're gonna get another person in here, it's gonna be fine. And we can deconstruct them later on and get most of it back. Just a little wood and steel to build them, so it's not like it's a big deal. There we go, those are gonna get moved. Uh, I guess it's a normal table, so we'll keep you. Put you here. I'm gonna, instead of more stools, I'm gonna build dining chairs here instead. Uh, we probably don't, well, people might be a little in sync with how they eat, I'm not sure. Oh, the red line? is it's warning us that we're too close to the animal tree. I suppose I could turn off the radius so that we don't see that anymore. Um, but yeah, it's warning us that we're building too close to the animal tree, and therefore the animal tree is not as effective, but I don't really care. I think, actually, I am gonna go... Maybe I'll just do two hours of meditating for now, which isn't gonna be very much, because it's gonna take them a while to get there, but I'll re-enable it, because I would like to get some psychic powers relatively soon. The hex on the table, yeah. It's because we've got the um, our ideology, we've got the... Um, the tech is style. Apparently we also have the totemic style. Just cut the tree down, cut down the anima tree. Yeah. You can do, if the anima tree is in an inconvenient position, you can chop it down. After a few days, it'll come back. It does mean you're going to have a minus six mood for five days, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, better to kill it early. If you're going to kill it, kill it early, but we're going to keep it. In fact, we're going to get this room enclosed so that we can meditate without too much danger. I already have, let me check here. I have the remove roof in the middle, great. I'm gonna to wanna to root uh, for the other spots so that our people who are meditating are going to be under a roof while they're doing it. You can't move an anima tree, unfortunately. Uh, there's a mod, of course. I mean, this rim world, there's a mod for everything. Okay, marble meteorite. There's a little bit of a scary sound. I'm just gonna... Reserve our meditation spots. That was a lot of noise. Do, do, do. Uh, we're, this area here is not roofed. Right? So there's no roof that grows there, and that's where the anima gro grass grows. So it's got a 5x5 five five area, and you only need 20 anima grass to a level up. So we got a low psychic drone for females, and which unfortunately hits four out of five of us. Mm -hmm. I want to lure animal trees into trees, tentacle some interdimensional being. Mm. Freaky deaky. All right, let's reinstall these inside. Reinstall you right there. Um, let's build a proper butcher table. I th although I think I'm going to build a butcher table in this room so that the blood doesn't dirty up the cooking area. Let's actually get this going as well. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Once those walls are up, I'll get rid of all the wooden construction. And then what we can do is we can pretty up this room too. Now, what I've seen some people, should we, I don't know, should we do that? What some people do, um, and I want to give a shout out to Adam vs. Everything does some pretty cool stuff. Um, as it turns out, and I didn't realize this, daylilies only need 30% light to grow. And, oh, we can use, by the way, if you hold Alt in 1.4, you get this awesome little pop-up. Um, these areas, the light here from these torches, 50% light. Daylilies can grow perfectly fine indoors with just some uh, just some basic lighting. And daylilies are gorgeous. So we can get a huge boost to the beauty of our room by growing daylilies inside. Oh yeah, the alt key is amazing. This is so handy. Saves you from like clicking a bunch of stuff over here and things. You get lots of great contextual information immediately. It's one of those things that's so obvious in hindsight. I'm really just happy I haven't cut down the anima tree yet. So yeah, if we grow this... This room here should become prettier. At some point, we'll floor up some nice marble tile. Well, it turns I think it doesn't matter what you use, what kind of stone you use, it's one beauty per tile. Which again, means these plants, they're 15, 
I think they're 14 beauty, I thought. The alien leaves. But anyway. They're really pretty. Uh, roses last longer. They're not as pretty as daylilies. They last longer, so you don't have to plant them as often. Um, so if you're labor crunch, that's handy. On the other hand, having to replant the daylilies more often is actually not a bad way to grind up your plant skill. So if we want to be able to plant, uh, um, I guess, yeah, we don't have our heal root yet. I think we need eight for that, which is about to come up. So our zapper is going to be able to plant heal root soon. And then our delve strand, I think we need ten. Oh! I have a question. At the beginning of Essentials Cafe, you said that you make 100% resources back from deconstruction. How do you achieve that? Oh, that was um, that yeah, that was a that was a mod. Uh, I don't remember which one that was. There there are standalone mods for that. I think the uh, Tweaks Galore mod was the one I was using for that effect. So you'd have to go into the option for it. Yeah, but there's also standalone mods to get all the material back. And yeah, I just did that because it allowed us to be more creative in that run. Okay, have we, uh, what's the deal here? We're working on it. Do we still have a warden? Yes, Rhyme Pendragon. Yeah, Dragon of Two recently. Okay, so it is still going on. Good. So now, look at this. This barracks, barracks slash dining rooms and everything is already slightly impressive now. Now, I still want individual bedrooms for people pretty soon for more buffs, and I just like to give people bedrooms. Like, yes, you know, we can save a ton of wealth and material by not doing that, but I like individual bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Prisoner's background? Uh, they were, I can't remember, but they were uh, reclusive child, which does give them natural meditation type as well, which is handy. Yes, we can have children. I don't know how it works yet. No idea. I did notice when I was... Um, rolling up some pawns earlier this morning to, to check things. Some of the pawns we started, but we could have started with pawns that are already pregnant. Yeah, this person's only 13, and they're going to be a death machine. They're, I mean, congratulations, we're going to have a child soldier. Okay, Psychic Drone is over. We made it through without any breaks. I mean, our moods, are, again, they're still going to be pretty good by base that we have low expectations right now. But yeah, we're getting our recreation, which I think is mostly we're getting it from meditation. We did have the party. And yeah, so we're going to have this spacious interior. Like, in our previous runs, we made, like, things that look realistic, right? So lots of little rooms and things like that. Here, we're going to focus on having lots of big rooms so that we're always sitting on the spacious interior buff. Okay, I don't care about that. So, metal's okay. We don't have much medicine. I guess we have no components right now, which is fine because we don't need it. Oh, there we go. The medicine's being planted, but... Just going to double-click some of the heal root around here and harvest some of it. Drug production, so we can get our Psychite. Um, I think, can we, hold on, we need this for the tea? No, Psychite tea is its own tech, which we started with. We started Psychite Brewing. Duh. I didn't really need to go with drug production at all. I don't think we'll work on making great bows. We'll probably go straight to guns. We need skill 10 for Devil Strand, although we might start researching that now. I think I will go and do that. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to pick up smithing first. We're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get a fuel smithy up and make some helmets for people. Check Zapper. What's their plant skill? Yeah, 8.26. So it's still gonna be a while before we can get our Devil's Strand, but not too long. Yeah, it's not much reason for us to do the clothing right now because we don't have that much material. We've got a little bit of leather. We will be getting a little bit of cloth from our cotton plants, but it's gonna be a while before we get there. It's mostly the Devil's Strand. Like I think I'm just gonna go try to go straight to Devil's Strand pretty quick. Go bulk research. Grind, 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 grind. Yeah, in a room that is like if we check it, look at the flame beard here. You know, it's not the most gorgeous room, but it's not bad. I mean, we could plant more of the daily these too. I mean, we could fill the room with it. Uh, we, uh, we are not gonna have winter, Shira. I believe we have. Uh, I think we have year-long summer over here. Yeah, year-round summer. 7C is as low as it's expected to get. I mean, we might get cold snaps. That's always possible. Get a torch in here, because they're going to get a mood debuff from being in the dark. Uh, I think Valinor's a constructor, right? There we go. Thank you. 
So yeah, they just, while they're in the darkness, they get a debuff. They are sweaty. Oh, that's a lot of... Whoa! Cover chest... What? Oh, Doc's only got a button-down shirt. What happened to your tribal wear? Oh my god, they're all like that. It's because our ideology uh, considers cloth uh, button-down shirts to be important. But because they're tribal, they didn't start with pants. Normally, they'd start with just tribal wear. Which is one piece of clothing that covers everything. I didn't realize they wouldn't come in with pants. That's hilarious. We're just... We're just hanging free. Woo! Okay. Oh, looks like I can do a deconstruct here. Um, but do, 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 do. Quarters. I have to leave the cell for now. I can do that. Nope. I didn't mean to get rid of the sleep spot. Do I have to, like, recapture them right now? Who's a warden? It's fine. I don't think they have to be brought there. They're just, when they want to sleep, I think they'll re-grab that spot. I think they're still considered a prisoner. All right, mood's dropping. Or, uh, resistance is broken. That's good. Button shirt plus no pants equals smart casual. <laughs> yeah, we might have to get clothing going a little sooner than I expected. <laughs> Flash, do more hunting. Okay, food's currently okay. Good. We got some metal, which is good. We don't have any components, but we don't need it right now, so that's fine. Production center has been moved indoors. I guess I still have the butcher spot. Um, right, I'm going to build a butcher's table. I'm, I'm going to do that now. Butcher's table. Put it in there. Do, 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 do. They don't want to be oppressed by the bloody pants tyranny. <laughs> Try tagging legs while only just wearing a shirt. Yeah, no wonder our legs took so much freaking damage. We didn't have cloth pants to protect us. And actually, your normal, um, I was gonna say embark, which is a dwarf fortress term, but yeah, your, the normal start with your normal, like, three um, colonists, they start with synth thread pants, which is quite a lot stronger than cloth, and certainly a lot stronger than no pants at all. But that explains why our legs got just absolutely shredded. Well, wow, Flamebeard's very happy. Uh, no. Technically, our ideology accepts slaves because we are supremacists, but I'm not planning on doing slaves. Slaves feel bad, man. Do, 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 do. There you go. Hey, four people researching. Beautiful. Might not even queue up any more construction. Valinor might join the construction, the, the, the research after this. Get that smithing so we can get some helmets on people. I'll feel a lot better there. I was happy when I don't wear pants as flame beard in the chat. I do the, the I do miss the Twitch chat where like the speech bubbles would show up in game. All right, construction done. Oh, Valinor is going to deconstruct some stuff. Oh, I deconstruct the torch. Although I guess we don't need a torch. Mm. I suppose they move slower in the dark, and it would affect the butcher's table. Yeah, butcher creature, do forever, allow everything, including human likes. I'll put a kibble job on here in, if we do get hay. We are growing a little bit of hay. Um, I think kibble stacks is 75. Limit it to like, oops, go until the effects. We'll limit it to like two stacks of kibble. Um, don't use vegetables, just use hay. Hay plus meat. Don't put your colonists. Do, I don't, do we get a. You're just saying, like, we should philosophically we should? Because I don't think our colonists will care if we butcher other colonists. Spoiler alert, we're all just made out of meat. Unless we can extract things from dead bodies. I don't know if we can. Yeah, why waste meat? Meat is meat. Do, do, do. Alright, they're nearly... Nearly broken. Yeah, you're already converted, so I don't have to use any of the powers over here. Alright. 
you're right, right, Juno, you're right. It is time for us to get up, stretch our legs. Everyone should do that. I will do it by doing 10 quick drop, this, uh, squats. That's an excellent idea. Just keep the blood flowing, especially in the legs. Very important, especially with all the sitting we do. So let's do that really quick. Thanks for the reminder, Juna. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. Hope everyone did that. <laughs> get up and grab a beer. Hey, man, as long as you get up, that's okay. Uh, the cooking meals are here because we just moved the stove. It was already set up, yeah. Do -do -do. Every 30 minutes, you should stand up and just make sure your legs move a little bit. The chat reminds me sometimes. So it seems like a really good idea. We can get some shells in here later, too. <coughs> it's gonna add a lot more to our, um, our ability to stockpile things in here. Which isn't good, because I really should limit how much I have sitting around for just wealth management, but... I mean, we're not playing on the max difficulty right now, because I want to be able to progress through here and see the the new late-game stuff. I haven't even really taken a look at the tech tree. Tox gas. Xenogenetics. Fertility procedures. Mech tech. Toxifier generator. Death rest. I think this is for our vampires. Foam turrets for fire control. Gene processor. More mech tech stuff. Metabolism things, healing factors. Ah, well, some of this was already here before. Waste pack atomizer. Oh, yeah, for pollution. Yeah, this was a tribal start. Oh, Doc Villain and Zapper don't have weapons. I guess, yeah, it was just have some melee around. So yeah, we're starting to kibble, which I don't know if we can feed to our horses. But it'll give us some options. You convinced me to do some stretching exercise. We'll do it in good traditional way by saying I did. <laughs> All right, very impressive. Excellent. Research is a go. Excellent. Come on, join us. One of us, one of us. Yeah, uh, I have to say when you're not running mods that add a bunch of researchable, the vanilla tech tree is usually, is a lot easier to read than the, re the, the other research screen I used. Um, but when you're running a lot of mods with a lot of tech, the other one is good. Now they've added more in vanilla and I do miss the ability to queue things. All right, the Donyo Kinship, group of tribes people attacking immediately. All right, single dude with a bow still. Great if we could fight here. And if you two could hide around the corner. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to get in position. Lovely. Be great if we had pants or helmets. Probably gonna try to get behind a tree or one of these. I think he's going for a tree. Well, he might be outranging us. Well, definitely outranging there. Okay, you move up. You're in range, and you're not quite. Plus, the accuracy is gonna be questionable. But the big thing. Of course, Flamebeard is gonna take a huge hit immediately. Right lung destroyed? Oh my god. <laughs> One shot. Boom, right through the chest. Let me see your stats. Eight shooting's pretty good, I gotta say. Damn it. Beggar's request. No, go away. Damn. All right, well, uh, you know, you're lucky that you're nearly done joining us. Otherwise, you might have become a lung donor. Oh! Ah, oh, cat 
person! What are you? Oh, you're a, 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 a Itakin. Just visiting us. Okay, smithing's done. I gotta check on our uh, thing here. Um, complex clothing. So we can make pants. Is someone treating you? Where's Doc? Okay, you're tending to flame beer. Good. You have to honor your first ra raid survival of cooking the raider. Oh, they're gonna get butchered. Don't worry about that. Doc's just gotta do a little bit of healing first. Did you finish already? Okay. And yeah, at least we're not on the floor anymore. But yeah, Flamebeard's breathing is gonna be limited. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him a little chat. Oh! No, these are the beggars. They're just here. They want some of our stuff. I already canceled the quest. They could leave. I mean, I suppose I could attack them. I gotta say, they're pretty cute. Actually, super cute. You're so lucky you're getting to keep your lung. Who's this gonna be? You know what? They're gonna be recruited. Let's let's pull a name out. But what if they die before they join it? I don't know. Uh, high priority queue. Next up is Scalloped Scott. Scalloped Scott. You are so lucky you get to keep your lung, Scott. I'm just saying. Oh, I can't rename them until they join. Okay, so I guess I'll wait. I mean, yes, we do have those. I think this might be a little much to attack. They've only got melee weapons. So it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, what did I finish? Oh yeah, smithing. We've got the complex furniture. So, I can build a Fueled Smithy. And what I'll do is I'll build the, the tailoring table face in this one, so I could put a little uh, a tool station over here. It is 200 steel, so we might not rush it. And that's being fueled. So, um, Kid Helmet. Wow, that's true. Children do need like their own clothing and stuff. All right, simple helmet. Um, I guess for now, I'll just queue this up five times. Just use steel, that's gonna be okay. Um, it is a smithing job, so the only person doing it should be Valinor. So that should be okay. Um, the, after that, we will consider either mining out uranium or plasteel. If we find some convenient plasteel, we'll make plasteel long swords for our mailers. If we find convenient uranium, we'll make uranium maces. And that's your, oh, that's marble. Oh, did they count as a kid? Did they need kid-sized stuff? kid size stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to make the five for now for our own people here. I guess it's time... Okay. Uh, all right. I already fixed the food thing so that they don't eat corpses. I'm going to not have us wear um, tattered clothing. I've... Should I? Okay. So normally when I do this, I put them at 60 so that there's a nice buffer here in case they're doing something that they don't all of a sudden go to a tattered clothing. But realistically, I could set this lower. So we don't cycle through clothes quite as quickly. I mean, 51 is how you avoid the tattered, although I do like to have a little bit of a buffer. Here, I'm gonna go 55%, and my clothing jobs will be set to like start things at 54. Um, and I'll leave everything enabled for now, although I'm sure we're gonna be tuning it. I mean, no one's complaining about tattered apparel, so I don't think it was a problem. There you go. Helmet's going on. Protect that noggin. And then, yeah, complex clothing so we can get some pants. Resistance broken. There you go. So the next time we have a chat, Scallop Scott will join us. We are going to research... Actually, that's a good question. Hold on. Who's our planter? Zapper. Still have a point to go before we can plant Devil Strand. 
Maybe we should research Devil Strand first, just in case you get there. Because I want to make clothes out of Devil Strand as quickly as possible. Where are we going to grow the Devil Strand? Maybe plant a little over here. Cause, uh, and we got a little bit left over. I mean, I could tweak some stuff. But yeah, maybe I'll do a little Devil Strand here, here, and here. I don't know how quickly we're going to wall this in. But this section here, I'm going to want walled in relatively soon. Yeah, we need to research pants. We could have everyone wear tribal wear, but the thing is, I uh, said an ideological thing so that we like wearing button-down shirts. So we spawned with only button-down shirts, no pants. I could replace the cotton area. There are certain things that need cloth specifically. Like if we want to make pool tables. I don't remember flak jackets. They might need cloth in addition to other things. Oh yeah, Vile Beggar. <laughs> yes, I can guarantee you there's going to be a Victoria 3 video on Sunday. And stream starting the second I can do it. I. It's possible I have had access. So yeah, no, don't, don't worry. There's definitely going to be some content there. Okay, well that's interesting timing. So, first of all, we're going to rename you. This name... You know what? I can't pronounce this name. You are now going to be known as Scout Scott. Congratulations and welcome. And then immediately, Rhyme Pendragon is going in insults grade. I didn't even realize your mood had gotten that low. That's annoying. I wasn't watching. Wow, Psychite Retrial minus 35. I guess we ran out of Psychite T. We are growing some Psychite. We do have the tea brewing, but we don't have any available for you yet. I mean, it'd be great if you could break your addiction. But yeah, that, that's a really bad mood debuff. And then Scallop Scott is pretty upset, but they've been in a pretty shitty situation, so um, they'll get better. Uh, so this, first of all, I'm going to deconstruct this area. We don't want that. Scallop Scott's going to get uh, her own bed. Her own bed as well. And uh, some clothing, hopefully. Uh, I think... Well, you were... Oh, you probably took off the tribal wear because it was too worn. We're working on it! I promise. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm definitely going to put hunting on for you because you are one of the people who have got potential for great hunting. I'm just going to give you this shitty bow, which I think came from one of the raiders. It's not ideal. But we'll give that to you. And then, other than that, Scott... Where are you? When you're not hunting, I can't have you craft because the craft is kind of inherently unskilled. So you can make blocks and stuff like that. That's going to be fine. And then otherwise, you're going to be hauling and cleaning. In fact, I think you'll do this. You'll do janitorial duties when you're not hunting. And then, yeah, you can cut blocks or just haul some stuff around. What nation will play in Vicky 3 on Sunday? Yeah, I can probably tell. Okay, Ryan Pendragon, the insult spree is annoying because it's going to add, add a bunch of debuffs to people. I could arrest P uh, Ryan Pendragon. Actually, maybe I should force him to detox. Anyway, I'm going to be playing as Canada. So, um, that's interesting. So, if you arrest someone, it does stop their, um, their mental break so they would stop insulting everyone and ruining everyone else's mood they would get a debuff so normally if you let them get through their problem they'll have catharsis for i don't know a couple of days they'll get a plus 40. if you arrest them they don't get the catharsis and in fact they'll get a i was in prison debuff on the other hand you could, we could dry him out They have the trait that means they're permanently addicted. Mm. No, no, they're not. Uh, they don't have the chem chemical dependence or whatever. I'm very tempted. I, we are growing psychite. They'll probably be okay. It's you're probably right. It's not worth drawing them out. Um, I might add more psychite overall. Nothing else. Like the psychite key is good for our people. Well, it's fine for our people. Um, and we can sell the excess Psychite Tea for money. Admittedly, like, selling Psychite Tea is not as good as selling um, the Flake. Flake's the real good kind of money maker there. Um, but it's still worth a few bucks. 
don't arrest him. Jails for criminals. Punching him until he loses consciousness. Must act humane. That's true. We could melee him. I mean, not with people who've got actual melee weapons. That would be a bad idea. Oh, there you go. It also breaks it when they, if they, a uh, social fight starts as a result of the insult spree, that does break it. So, I'm actually okay with a few bruises. Yeah. Okay. That That's fine. I think Rhyme is still going to get the catharsis. Yeah, there we go. Plus 40. We'll try to get... Hopefully you get some psych IT soon. I guess I should set the cooking recipe. I, that's what I'd forgotten to do. Oops. I mean, we didn't have the psych IT yet, but... Psych IT tea. We can pretty much do forever. If we've got psych IT, turn it to tea, because I don't think the tea rots. Everyone feels better after fight, like fight club. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, replant the flowers here. Keep this room impressive. So, even though... So, right now, we're getting to double dip, because, um... Our dining room and our bedroom will both be impressive, which is good. Uh, and it also counts as a rec room for some reason. Maybe this... I don't know. Maybe this is... I don't know. Um, we could actually put down an explicit little uh, game of her table over here as well. The problem is they still are going to get... Even though the barracks is impressive, they still have a negative thing. And they're going to get Disturbed Sleep. Now, Disturbed Sleep only stacks to the minus three, so it's not the end of the world. But individual bedrooms will still be overall better for moods. However, you are going to have to use more wealth to get there. Rec room because of the table. Oh, probably because it's a meeting spot. Yeah. So yeah we'll set this up as well. Give people access to a different type of uh, entertainment. Although, they are getting most of their recreational need from doing meditation. Oh, schedule. That's right, you're a baseliner, Scallop Scott. Poor Scallop's lot, Scott, just a baseliner. That's not the finger-cutting game, no. The Royal Game of Ur is probably the oldest board game of all time. Uh, and I made a tutorial on my programming channel on uh, making a version of that in Unity. With an AI, I think. And multiplayer? I can't remember what I did. It's been a while. Babylonian? Maybe. Maybe a Babylonian? I don't know. This is equivalent. It's the tribal equivalent to a chess table. I think it's exactly the same as a chess table, but it's what the tribals do. Okay, we're still looking on wood. Steel's going down, although we don't need it right now. How are we doing on this? We've got 16 anima grass. And yeah, if it gets to 20, it will uh, we'll be able to start giving people psychic, po psychic powers. Minor bird risks, flame beard. Yeah, see, all this insulted, and also you're in pain. And also you're naked and slept in the heat. Uh, I don't think it's worth putting air conditioners in here. Now, it's actually a little hotter inside than outside. Partially because it's night. Torches do give out a tiny bit of heat. And the grass growing in skull shape. Oh, I see it. Heat wave. Okay. Well, I guess I am building some refrigeration. Uh, we're going to need, like, I don't know, at least three coolers, I think. And we can get started on... Sh Although, right now... I mean, it does look bad, just having things on the ground, but it's actually not a problem. We clearly don't need more space for things. Ugh. Penalty. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it, 30% is as far as it gets in terms of, uh, penalty. So, it, it really, it doesn't matter. And we're saving, like, so much time from having it, like, be in the corner of the map and having to walk our ass over there. It's, like, so much more efficient for us. And just wrapping it in walls and we're nice and safe. Hotter inside than outside. Game, let me fix this. <laughs> All right, it's not 44 outside, 29 indoors. I mean, I think we're probably not going to be able to get it, like, fully cool. But this should be enough to counteract a heat, um, uh, heat stroke. So just remember, this has got to be home zone. Just repairs. I should probably set up a little bit of a defensive structure somewhere. Like, just a little bit of a barricade. For now, what I'm just gonna do... Yeah, it's probably time. Uh, yes, security. Wooden barracks. Barricades. Just so we have a little area to maybe fight from. Let's chop that tree down, please. We don't want to stand there. Maybe we'll cut that just because it's going to get in the way. 
Yeah, we could start making things out of marble just for extra beauty. What I was surprised about, and I found this out playing our vanilla game, marble statues are more beautiful but worth less than granite ones. I'm guessing the granite ones are worth more because it's like calculated based on their hit points or something. But yeah, I was quite surprised about that. Yeah, poor horse. I don't... The, the animals have... I don't know if we can find out their temperature range. Or maybe from here. Yeah, they're fine up to 45, which... It's 58 degrees outside? Holy crap. The horse has heat stroke. Um... It's already cooking. It's a slow cooking horse. There you go. Doesn't have heat stroke anymore, you guys. We'll get, we'll get some others. That's probably affecting a bunch of the creatures on the map. I think they'll start leaving. Wow. 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, there you go. Thanks for the conversion. Everyone's research. Well, not everyone. Some people are sleeping. I don't want to send people outside right now anyway. What are we doing inside? It's still 37. I should get... Let's get an extra couple of coolers in here. Because we're going to start... Yo, we actually are getting heat stroke indoors. What's my... Um... Oh, 26 currently is the cap. We need cowboy hats and dusters. But yeah, we'll build a few more of those. Oh yeah, we're getting a heat meter. Um... Valinor. I'm going to get you to get up and work on this cooler right now. Oh, I think I'm out of wood actually. Actually, been 140 degree Fahrenheit weather. Yeah, I know the torches are producing heat. I guess I, I, maybe I should just turn these off for now. Just deconstruct. They don't produce much. I kind of want the the light. How far are we from building a freezer? Pretty far. Okay, Devil Strand, which I don't think we can grow yet, but hopefully soon. Back to complex clothing. Valinor, can you finish this passive cooler? Okay, it's 24 degrees inside. There we go. Okay. 41 indoors. I mean, the heat wave doesn't last super long, but what I'll do is I'm going to toggle the refueling. We're not going to need to refuel those. Yeah, uh, campfires produce tons of heat. Oh, stone fires produce more light, less heat. Nothing torches, though, right? Hey, Covert Lego. Good name. I mean, I don't think the meat... Well, I guess we do have extra meat. That is true. You know what I'll do is I'll put in a thing uh, for fine meals. Right now, I'm just going to do... Because the meals rot pretty quickly as well. But yeah, let's... We'll just put a forever fine meal so that we'll just convert these into meals. The last a little bit longer cooked. Still not very long. But that's the nice thing about the rice. Like, the rice takes forever to spoil. Or can make more kibble. Or... Pemmican? We start with pemmican, right? We should keep some around in case we want to do a, a caravan. Now I think pemmican is like it's like 16 units is one meal or something like that. It's really weird. I think you want quite a lot of it. It's up to 100. I don't know how much it stacks. Still 50 outside, but yeah, low 20s indoors. No more heat stroke. Scout. Oh, Scout, did you not? Sorry about that. Let me. You can research too, Scout. Jump on in. Learn how to make clothes so you can cover. Cover your shame! Because you're nude right now. Okay, we're gonna set up some Devil Strand plants. Even though we don't quite have the skill yet to do it. But yeah, we will focus. Just to be as time efficient as possible, I just want to use this. We got some resubs that I just realized I was hearing the noise of and I didn't pay proper attention. I'll take a look at that in a second. So we'll get the note that, hey, we can't plant this right now. Yeah, because we don't have a tent, but we're close! Now, that's a little bit vulnerable to being burned by an attacker, but. Take it. I'm 
gonna have another bite of pizza. Set by the lovely KG. I ate breakfast before the stream, so I wasn't immediately hungry, but this is gonna be great dinner. Mmm. Spicy Hawaiian, baby. All about that balance. Salty ham, sweetness of pineapple, and then jalapeno on there to finish it. It looks like an office work. Like, it's all cubicles for office work. Should we get a sixth one? Because we have six people now? quite yet. So, Cassandra Classic has an on-off cycle. During the on period is when you get the major raids. And she can send two kind of back-to-back, -back, like a day or two apart. But then once it goes off, then you have a few days in between. So if it's been like five or more days since the last major attack, there's a, you have to be ready and assume that there might be another one coming soon. But if you get two attacks back-to-back, -back, you know you've got a few days before there's a problem, so that's like a good time to do stuff at the edge of the map or something. Shell's boost research. Shell's on boost research. Tribal office would be easier if we had to the paper. <laughs> and just banging rock together, trying to figure out how to make pants. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Hang on. Hmm. That person is 9.74. Let's just extend this zone out. We don't need this, this more, but I'm just going to do this. Reset Zapper here. Zapper, go plant stuff just so you can get the skilled hand and plant her Devil Strand. There we go. 9.78. You know what? I've never played it. Let's make a switch. Let's switch to Randy Random. There we go. Randy Random. Now we have no idea what's going to happen. <clears throat> so because it's random, sometimes you can do a long time without raids. Sometimes you'll drop a bunch of raids. The big thing, too, is this raid, train, raid range can be a lot higher. He can roll a tougher raid than usual or a much weaker one than usual. Randy, so we've chosen death. Cassandra Classic is predictable, although she's, like, intentionally meaner. I'm sorry about your psychite! Soon! Heat wave is over. All right. Yeah, that's getting positively chilly indoors. I wonder if I should deconstruct these. Although it'd be nice um, if we could keep them around, like, around 20 degrees in here so that people don't get the slept in the heat and they don't get the sweaty thing. We don't want to go below 16, though, because below 16, they get the slept in the cold debuff. I'm going to deconstruct one of these right away. Oh, that's not a bad idea. We could do a little early harvest. It's almost there. I think it's going to harvest regardless tomorrow, but yeah. I suppose I could harvest one of these to make sure we could immediately make a little bit of psychite. Yeah. Yeah, how do they work? Like, is it you put water in there and it evaporates? Like, I don't actually know how the mechanics work. Because I know when you're running with Dub's Bad Hygiene, you actually load it with water instead of wood. And I think that's what it is. I think it's an evaporation cooler. Seventeen grass. Almost at our first psychic powers. Okay. Laggy lag. 
The lightning struck our door here. That's very rude. Our home area there is fine. Um, you know, I'm going to expand there. So ship to the stars. Yes, we can go and travel to a ship to escape. I don't think... Did Biotech add a new victory condition? I'm not sure it did. Okay, complex clothing. And I'm, I'm not complaining about that necessarily. Complex clothing is ready. Part of me kind of wants to work our way up like into machining, which we do need electricity for, so that we can make some guns. Eat your nuts. Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, if we are going to make flak armor, we will need plate armor first. It's a prerequisite. I don't tend to make plate armor, though, because it's slow and boring. Yeah, guns and cool. I think we have to work our way up to electricity. I think that's the more important thing right now. Although, beer to cool down? <laughs> beer before fancy electricity? Yeah. It wouldn't be bad. But I think our builders are fairly, or growers, busy enough. And yeah, I want I want lots of idle time right now. As long as our people are relatively happy, we're going to be okay. All right, Zapper, are you at the skill 10? You are. Excellent. So now, you know what? You can, uh, I'm just going to disallow sowing here for now. There you go. Go plant our devil strand. Potato plant. Oh, fair enough. I put a little growing area there. Okay. You need a harp so you can have angels play them when you die. Damn, that's dark. There you go. Zapper's training is done. Once these um, daylilies die off, we'll shrink this or do something. But, you know, it is adding a lot of beauty. We could also floor this area here, which at some point we will. It adds wealth, but um, you can move around faster. I love, I love watching these guys just go crazy on research. I gotta say, I, I, I do miss... I, I like that the last two runs were just a beautiful run, right? Like, they, I mean, ignoring the uh, the vanilla run we did. The modded stuff was just about, like, building these really beautiful environments. But this highly functional stuff is interesting as well, you know? <laughs> I do want to floor things soon. Which, yeah, it's going to add a bunch of wealth and things. But we're not playing on super high difficulty. And it'll look nice. It'll make me happy. Yeah, the fires are creeping up. Oh, to my plants as well, which I don't like. I'm waiting for the rain. So the way it works in RimWorld is um, every fire that's burning on the map um, increases the chance of summoning rain. But that's getting awfully close to my plants, so we don't like that. Oh, there you go. See, rain. What did I tell you? Go away. Get that devil strand going. So, we're going to want a fence to here to protect this area. Plus, we're going to want to grow probably in general over here. I'm definitely going to want to remove this because I think this is where I'm going to put my temple. And I'm also going to start thinking about bedrooms. And it's really wealth efficient to do this, but I want my people in bedrooms. It's cool. Oh, I guess walling this in was being pretty good too. Is it time to start up a big construction job? Probably. Logging work site, we're gonna we can ignore that. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim that. That's okay. Keep going. There we go. Something like that. Well, we'll do this side first. We're gonna do a little airlock. Maybe in line with over here. Oops. This is something I did in the vanilla run. We're gonna do a little airlock like this. Um, we could even do it a little bit more for like melee defense. No, I'll just do this for now. Um, Cause if you get chased by a wild animal or something or a manhunter pack and they see you go through a door, they will smash the door or they will attempt to. They'll, they'll get tired after a bit, but they might get all the way through depending on how quick their melee packs are. But then there'll be another door there and they won't have seen someone walk through it. So then just, they'll just back up and change their mind. So we're going to want to do that. A home area along this so that things get rebuilt. The auto rebuilding only applies to things within the zone. Plus this will be for repairs. Yeah, it's so big it probably won't get roofed. But you are correct that we should just flag it to remove roof as well. Because seems like a good idea.
door behind a door. How can my tiny animal mind solve this mystery? Exactly, right? I think it works in zombies, too, if you're playing the zombie lines mod. That may have been where I first started doing it. I'm not sure. Simple meal rot away. Yeah, that's annoying. We did, we did cook a few extra to try to use up the meat. And it, I think it worked out. I think we got a little bit of extra lifespan than we would have otherwise. We are actually... What kind of food do we have left? Okay, we have some rice. Rice? I'm trying to say raw rice at the same time. Are you just, are you having a party? Oh, you are having a party. Oh, yeah. Uh, it says it right there. Scout Scott is throwing a party. Well, there you go. Cool, mood boosts. Actually, everyone's doing kind of okay. Ryan Pendragon is the one who's the worst off. Oh, no, you got your tea. Yes, we did make some tea, so you're fine now. Excellent. I mean, your tolerance is massive, so you're not getting much of a bonus from it. But we'll at least keep you in an okay mood. Rice and peas. Rice and peas is delicious. I made a nice um chili chicken kind of curry thing. It's a Malaysian dish last night. Kind of spicy. Some tomato. Some um, uh, coconut milk. Lots of chili peppers. Garlic, onion in a sauce ser uh, with chicken served over rice. Oh, it's wonderful. Actually, I have a little bit of leftover in the fridge. Pawns eventually get over addictions. Yeah. So some pawns don't. If they have um, some people, some pawns. I think if they have like chemical fascination as a trait, maybe. I can't remember if that's a trait or if it's something else. Um, they some pawns I don't think break addictions. But generally speaking, if you just let this go all the way to up to a hundred. Uh, sorry. If they they'll develop a withdrawal. That's what it is. If they develop a withdrawal and you let it go all the way to up to hundred, it will break away from it. But. I think they can get over it. Lucy, Luciferium is one of the exceptions. You can never break your addiction. Hey, we're up to level 20. So we can link someone to it. Now, um, one of our people, I can't remember who it is. Psychically hypersensitive, which I believe makes you better at psychic stuff. So I'm going to link the ritual now. I know people are trying to sleep, but we're going to link Valinor. I think it gives you more psychic powers and things like that. Whereas if you're, you know, like, l less sensitive to psychic stuff, it's great when there's like one of those, ah, one of those mood debuffs. Of course, it's got to happen while we're ritualizing because I don't want to cancel that. Now, 1.4 did add this cut all blight button, which is kind of nice. But there goes our rice harvest. Chemical fascination is a trait, and I hate it because they drink all my trade goods. I think the hypersensitivity, I think it increases the rate at which you regain your power or burn off the heat. Whereas, like, being psychically um, dull, which I think the villain is. Nope, someone is. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we didn't, we didn't start with one. But if you have the trait where you're psychically dull or whatever, you don't get as affected by, like, the mood events and things like that, whatever there was a call, but I think it makes you less good at psychic stuff. I might be wrong. So, what power did Valinor get? Valinor got Solar Pinhole! Okay, so I've never really used a lot of the size stuff before, and I really should have probably sooner. So, this generates a microscopic skip gate linked to the core of a nearby star. Solar materials leaks through the pinprick in space-time, illuminating and warming the surrounding area until it closes. The light is enough to work by, but not enough to grow plants. So it basically just keeps an area of light around. So I was saying that like, you know, we get like, you get debuffs if you're outdoors at night. Well, this lets us make some daytime. I think it lasts for like five days. It's not bad, a hair self taint but I guess we're getting some rabbit stew for dinner. It's also a slight here, right. Uh, can, we, can we trigger it indoors? I don't think I wanna. I was thinking mostly I'd like put a couple out here. Maybe one over here. Lighting, I think at some point like darkness and things like that did affect your combat stats, but that's no longer the case anymore. It's great indoors. Apparently it's not a solar lamp. Yeah, it doesn't it's not enough to grow plants. Although if it's 50% light, so it's the same as a torch, which means it'll be fine to grow our daily leaves. Force weather. What weather low power test? Weather control will force the weather to be rainy thunderstorm for 7.2 days. So that's not the worst weather in the universe. I mean, thunderstorm will light things on fire, but the rain will put it out immediately. Um, it, you know, makes things a little darker and everyone gets wet and miserable. Um, I don't think this reward is tempting enough right now. I think I'm just going to say no. Hyperweave is great, but 
Uh, this this would be a pretty easy... Yeah, the Dry Thunderstorm, which is what we're having right now, it sucks. Or Flash Storms. But I think this is going to be fine. We're just going to cancel this one. But yeah, we're going to get some wildfires again. Should cut, okay, I've got some wood. I was going to say, I should cut down some trees before it all burns down from the freaking thunderstorms. But Oh, this is the Pained Rabbit, so we will slaughter that. Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. Ah, we still have some blight! Come on, get it cut! There you go. I miss my auto-cut blight mods. But yeah, that wouldn't it wouldn't have been a really hard event. There you go, we're getting rain to put out the fire. Perfect. Um But it there wasn't it just wasn't enough reward. And then the reward scale, I mean they've got their own difficulty setting. Um so this is just a one star, but I think also it's the what is offered is scaled to your wealth. So as we get bigger, and theoretically in you know, the thunderstorm would be more, more annoying. Uh, how are we in medicine? We don't have a lot of it. Then I think we would have gotten a more attractive reward, in which case I probably would have said yes. Oh, not cut plant, harvest. Just gonna get a little bit of extra metal. Uh, reset cut priority. Um, it's actually not the end of the world. I mean, this is only, this doesn't apply to regular harvesting. It only applies when you manually flag something. So I guess the trees, yeah, okay. We'll bring it down. And a solar flare. Oh no, you guys, our electricity's been shut down. Whatever will we do? Oh, it's still quite warm in here. And these things aren't fueled. I'm gonna keep one of these here. I'll refuel this one, but I'll tear down the others. To get a little bit of cooling in here. Oh, actually, there's heat stroke complaints. You know what? Let's get a couple of these refilled. Flame beer, can you do that for me? I didn't realize. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt your sleep. Do one more. Don't mock Randy, he'll get his revenge. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot we were playing on Randy here. Now things are going to feel very different and unpredictable. Alright, I'm going to set a new job at the Stonecutters here for marble blocks. Uh, and I'm going to get a stack of 75 of these after the limestone. And we'll start doing some flooring with this. Marble is fairly soft, so I don't want to use this for walls. Although it is very pretty. One of the best uses is probably for us to make statues out of it. A group of cows just joined. Okay. We get the hitching spot. I think... I'm going to make this a pasture right here. Pen marker and uh, remove roof over here. So the flare's ending. Doesn't matter one way or another. Oh, let me do another airlock. That's not a huge pasture, but it'll do. Breeding pair. That seems okay. Actually sounds quite useful. Alright. Keep the cows in the pasture, then make the milk come out to pasteurize. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, a little psychite tea. I'm gonna let this accrue. Right now I won't schedule other people to start consuming psychite tea, because I want to keep it around for Rhyme Pen Dragon. Where's the horse? Um, listen, the horse, uh, the horse just went to Tesco for a little while, that's all. See, so yeah, we had a heat wave and the, the horse was getting heat stroke, so we just, we just decided to eat it. Yeah, farm outside town, exactly. Uh, chop that tree, because it's going to have to get cleared for the construction anyway. Yeah, getting some lasagna for dinner. Exactly. So, currently researching electricity, which is a pretty long research. Right now, we've only got one person working on it, but 
because we're doing some expanding things. Oh no, we want to be friends with these guys. That's Otham. She's from, right? Yeah. No, Otham we want to be friends with. Okay. All right, temperature's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna officially, yeah, just deconstruct those, which so, someone will get around to. Deconstructing is lower priority than constructing, so right now Valinor is busy doing this. What's your construction skill at? Ten. Not bad. You know what it's time for? Hang on, Valinor. You need to become an engineer. Because you are a construction and crafting person. We're going to do this. It's going to cancel some of the jobs, but it gives us a 50% boost to the speed and a plus one to construction quality. It's half of an inspiration. So Valinor is going to be much, much more likely to make, um, like, master work, like, excellent in master work and potentially even legendary uh, beds. But also, once we start making, like, armor and weapons, it's going to be huge. <laughs> The right spots. Give, give it a few more minutes here. And then we're going back to meditation. Excellent. And Valinor is getting all the things. Getting the abilities. Getting the titles. As the pizza pizza is delicious. I only have the one piece right now. But yeah, that's going to that's gonna be great once I end the stream. Which is going to be when? I don't know. we got to stream again tomorrow, so I don't want to kill my voice. But, I don't know. Maybe for now it's okay. I'm going to put on some solar pinholes. I probably just should. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Hey, Piggy. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the party. Join the Discord. Bum, 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 bum. Need more recruits to come visit us. Yeah, well, we're not going to get regular raids the same way, so it'll be interesting. Oh, Vampire Masquerade Bundle on Humble. Ooh, I should check that out. Uh, sleeps. Wanderings. Uh, we got we got a little bit of metal. Still haven't gone and hit any components. Oh, we basically have no food. All right, let's hunt those three. Reading food a little faster now. We got the extra person. I mean, I suppose we've had them as a prisoner for a while. Although apparently some of them will run off the map and we'll lose them. So what the heck, right? Oh yeah, the little blinking light. Still making me nervous. We need to get some better guns. So in the vanilla run, I had a great time with the uh, chain shotguns. They were actually incredible. But I will be... I'll probably use some heavy SMGs this time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deconstruct this. Uh, sandstone. Mostly because it's going to be in the way. Of my plans. There's a mod list. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't have it in the mods command. But it is in the what game, right there. Build, 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 build. Research. Quarter of the way-ish to electricity. And yet, we got plenty of room here, actually. We can put a bunch of, um, like, wind turbines along that edge. That should be pretty decent. But yeah, we have so much geothermal. It's going to be amazing. I wonder if we should just, like... Should we just rush geothermal? It's going to cost us, I think, like 6,000 research. Yeah, 6,400. Four tribals. But man, oh man, would our power be in perfect shape. Sorry, Blissey. Yeah, just sort of a random extra stream here. It's going to really mess people up tomorrow. <laughs> But there's enough people around today, so hopefully it's going to be okay. Is it time for clothing? Oh, yeah, there. I researched clothing. My gosh. Thank you. Um, hand tailoring bench for now. Although we still don't have much in the way of cloth. We could set up a little... I guess we could set up some pants real quick to get rid of the nudity debuff. So Othium, again, is someone we're going to try to be friends with, so we're not going to capture this person. But we can give them a little chat. They're not going to have much to trade for. Okay, KJ, that's true. Where do I have that note? Is that uh, is that on my uh, my YouTube about page? I should probably get rid of that. 
That's, uh, <laughs> I haven't really applied for a while. I know. Still joy with the pants. All right. So first, I'm just gonna queue up pants for now. Uh, right here. Um, and I'll do do until I have one that's not tainted. What I said are, are we strip at 55 percent, right? So I'll set at 54 percent. And for now, we won't use good material. I'll just set this up. We'll make we'll be making some changes to this later on. Oh, at quillyteam.com. Yeah, okay, I should probably tweak that. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't hurt to advertise it. You never know. If there's a good enough offer, anything can happen. I think I need to expand my home zone over here. Again, doing this mostly so that we don't clean a bunch of tiles. That we don't want to. I could also have the automated on and then just remove it, but... This seems to be... This seems to involve fewer clicks. Okay, it's nearly done. Oh, the pen marker's up, although it's not enclosed yet. Uh, I did set the no roof over here. That should already be okay. Oh, we got a gift. Look at that, see? He gave us a gift because we didn't attack him. We got real medicine. Oh, which reminds me. Scout Scott, you should be on plain herbals as well, please. Actually, herbal meds we're pretty good on now. That's nice to see. Oh, yeah, you can put some sleep spots up here, too. That way, I mean, they can sleep on the ground. It doesn't really matter. But with the sleep spots, they would get medically treated if something were to come up. Uh, I guess it's under furniture. All right. Be fruitful and multiply. There's not a ton of nutrition in here. But that's okay. Oh, yeah, I probably didn't change this either. Thank you. They attack if something turns on them. I don't think we're going to keep a huge herd of anything. So I'm going to set up an auto slaughter here. Where... Yeah, one male adult. Sometimes I keep spares, but I'm not going to in this case. Four females. Like that. And even that, that's going to be pushing it a little bit. We'll probably have to expand this a bit. Well, you do grow a little hay I could put down, but... Could plant fast growing plant. Yeah, but I hate doing that. You guys know me. It annoys me. It drives me crazy. Although, I guess it is another good way to train people up. Do I want to plant more daylilies? I mean, currently this room is dull, although our moods are okay. I could start flooring here. Maybe I will plant more. I don't think we need this many, though. There. I'm going to re-enable the sowing of the daylilies. So, yeah, I'm going to expand to cover this with our growing area. And that, I mean, that's going to be a nice square area. Probably everything we'll ever have to do will be in here. And I think for a kill zone, because it's in the center of the map, I think we'll put our little kill zone over here. Beautiful Auror is lighting up the sky. Everyone's asleep. No one will see it. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, you can build close to the special tree. You just get a debuff to how quickly yeah, the anima grass grows. But it caps at minus 30%. And then you get all the advantages of things being close. This deserter here makes us enemies of the Empire, so I don't want to do that one. Not even sure we could take one trooper with our bows. But yeah, I don't want to be an enemy of the Empire of the Sun. All right, nearly halfway to electricity. Temperature, there we go. Good temp. No one's gonna complain about being too sweaty. So pants have not begun yet. So really our crafter is Valinor. He's the only person with passion for it. So I might wanna, yeah, just not queue up any construction for a bit. Or what I could do is I could invert things so he crafts before constructing for a little bit, in case I do queue up things. But I think when he's done stripping out this floor, or she, sorry, I think she's going to be done. Yeah, there we go. She's making pants. We're finally having pants. I repeat, pants are coming online. Woohoo! Hey, good pants right away. So Valinor sir, has not much crafting skill currently. Right now, only a five. But she's got passion for it. Should make more, yeah. She stopped for a second because the pants were on the ground. 
I suppose what I could do is just queue up the other builds at the same time, but that's fine. They can alternate. That's going to be okay. Um, I could have just, like, queued up six pants, and that would have been fine, too. But everything that Valinor makes comes out one level higher, because she is an engineer. I can also run production command here. I think there's no reason not to. For 24 hours, we're going to have a boost to crafting. Anyone else who's doing crafting at the same time will get it. That's what these lines are here for. I suppose we could uh, designate a researcher as well. Which, actually, no one's got research passion, so I don't think we're going to do that right now. Six pants and none richer. Ah, terrible. But yeah, just actually to keep this... Uh... Oh, no, one, no one went to equip those yet? Oh, they're poor too. Um, let me just go and specifically ask... Like, make, like, three more ahead of this. There we go. Just get it done. Oh, now you're meditating. Okay. I mean, we might run out of material at some point, but currently, if we've got enough leather, we should be able to start making some stuff. So, I'm going to let Valinor do those, and then I think I'll just extend the wall thing. So yeah, I think this will be the kill box. Uh, although, ooh, there's a geothermal. There. Oh, we have so much geothermal that I, we can, like, ignore this one. Like, we already have two inside of our walls. And there's going to be a third one inside of our walls here. Like, that is so much power. Uh, we have handling enabled. Flamebeard is our handler. Which is why things got brought here in the first place. It's actually interesting that no one's developed a relationship yet. Because they are spending... I mean, I'm wondering if... Because instead of normal social time... What is this? Oh, smash them. Instead of normal social time, they're doing meditation. I wonder if that doesn't enable them to develop relationships the same way. If we're doing... Um, if this was recreation here, they'd be spending a lot of time chatting. And I bet you we'd have a couple by now. Bear in mind, they don't have trousers. Right. Maybe that's why. Maybe, uh, maybe Zapper is unimpressive without the trousers. Roof the sleep slot? Oh, for the animals? So they don't, they're don't they not uncovered? I mean, I could. I don't know how much it matters. I don't think it, does it matter if the cows are getting rained on or anything like that? I suppose if there's hail, we can roof it at that point. I'm gonna leave it on roof for now so that we still have grass growing over here. Zapper needs a zipper. <laughs> Ah, oh, so much research. Yes, grind it. Although I suppose I could have Valinor start. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have you start building. Let's wall to here. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, I'll do the full 13. And from here, I'm going to do... Six and six with a little gap over there. There we go. And then that can go over here. That's fine. I guess I can just put doors wherever later on. It's going to be okay. Oh, we don't get a number from this drag? That's kind of annoying. Oh, no, maybe I am. Okay, I'm there. Weird. Okay. I guess it's showing the total number of things being cancelled once it gets big enough. Because, yeah, this will be our little kill area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll probably wrap it up in a... I don't know. There's so many people around here. Why would I want to stop now? Well, because I want to stream tomorrow and I want to have a voice. Meditate counts as sol solitary recreation. Okay, so yeah, no interactions. I mean, I suppose it's fine. If people became lovers now, they'd want to be, like, sharing a bed together. Although, I suppose, as long as they're in a barracks together, they won't get the debuff of not sleeping together. But then if we made them a room, then they would get the loving perk. Loving. And I don't, I have no idea how pregnancy happens. I don't know if it has to be intentional or if it just happens. Oh, yeah. So I was going to build a door right here, which I will still do. Click. Click. And chop. 
Yeah, I was wondering about that, an hour regular um, recreation before meditation. Locks. There. So when a bird and a bee, dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. Probably soonish we'll wrap it up. Oh yeah, I'll track some of those resubs too. It's not a good time to do it. We got resubs from Kerminu at 16 months. Yeah, I've been missing a bunch of these. Uh Trivenix at two months. Ogrit resub for 17 months. TL Branch at a beautiful number 18. Big Space Otter at 86 months. Thanks, Big Space Otter. Vulpo Drax at 10 months. Greater than zero. Greater Dan, zero. Is that seven months? Is your name Dan? Tiburon's at four months. Rhodesy's at 45 months. Kethril, 11 months. Benny Moy at 31 month resub. Yeah, I missed a bunch of these. Oh yeah, the Stellaris run. I gotta get more ups of that up. Kana's at 79 months. Got the Twitch notification while driving. Promptly forgot about it. Yeah, I mean, I really felt like streaming this today. I'm, not, I'm so happy I did. I had a lot of fun with it, but I do feel a little bit bad that it was off schedule. So some people may not have been around for the start. Thank you very much, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, our ideology does not allow polygamy currently, although we could decide to change that. Um, right now, our ideology for lovin' is free, and marriage is one each. We could. Here's the thing: even though we're not a fluid ideology, we can change this on the fly if we want to. So we can go to uh, enable dead mode, and then we can enable edit over here. So if you if you made it if you ever make a mistake setting up your ideology, you're like, oh my god, I completely forgot a thing that was really important. Uh, you you can go and make a change on the fly with dev mode. I'll leave it as is for now, but we could also we could change it. We could pretend we're doing a fluid ideology or something like that. We got a brand new sub from Cyber Videos. Thanks for the sub. So did you actually get to do any new biotech stuff that missed starting his travels? Um. No, I mean, I don't think anyone, like, I mean, you can, there's some of the starting setups that start as vampires, but our people do, uh, do have special genes. So all the people we started with, so everyone except Scallop Scott, yeah, Scallop Scott, um, has uh, one special trait we threw in. Uh, so Doc Villain is a fast runner. Zapper has elongated fingers for extra manipulation. Uh, Flamebeard is an optimist, a genetic optimist. Uh, Valinor has a strong stomach and can't get food poisoning, and Rhyme Pendragon is naturally beautiful. So yeah, if we can start, you know, like, like taking advantage of those genes, either through natural pro procreation or by we can extract them. I don't know what's involved in doing any of that yet. That would be quite cool. But that's that's our goal, and then we are we are also transhumanists. What's our wealth at right now? Okay, yeah, uh, it's at once it passes the, we're fine at 80k. It's at 81k that their expectations will go to uh, moderate, which will also change. Well, I guess this is moderate. I guess it'll change to whatever the next one is. We'll be past moderate and into whatever the next thing is. Um, oh no, Rhyme Pendragon is moderate because they have a special title. They're an advocate. So everyone else is at very low. At 81,000, every moon becomes moderate and then these guys will be higher up. Um, and they're gonna wanna start uh, getting some uh, bionic parts and stuff like that. We got ourselves a little sprout. I'm still not keen on the whole dryad thing. We can sell it. We could plant it somewhere for beauty. Like it just grows some grass. We could leave for some some beauty. A beautiful genius. Yeah, we're playing Crusader Kings now. All eugenics, all the time. <laughs> Elf Ram Hanser special genes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, all right, so defensively, the plan here, I mean, it's not, it's not, we don't have that many range tools yet, so it's not like we really need, um, 
Well, we don't necessarily need a kill box, but we should probably have a trap corridor. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a trap corridor up immediately. We'll have them funnel through some traps and then we'll fight them there or something like that. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. We'll just do something like this. Uh, we want to not let them use this corner for cover. So actually, we need to do that. And then... That. And then what we want them to do to encourage them to walk through this, but let... We want to... Because we could just make a single line. Then I... See, in the past, we've done all those door things, which takes a bunch more construction and effort. Turns out, what I've seen other people do is this. Our own people can zigzag through here. Enemies won't know the traps. These fences will be slow, so they don't want to walk through here, so they're going to want to walk through the traps instead. And yeah, we'll set up a, we're going to set up a classic standard sort of kill boxy space over here, but no reason to do it right now. And heck, what we could even do is we can just position all our mailiers here. Or like around the corner. They're going to come around the corner and get absolutely just bashed in the head by our melee people available. Pollution draw. This is new! Someone has dumped an abundance of toxic waste packs near one of her settlements, and she's unable to safely store them. If you accept, Sadie will deliver 90 toxic waste packs by transport pod. If not kept frozen, toxic waste packs, packs will dissolve over time, including nearby terrain, which I believe can attract insectoids. It'd be great to get the power claw maybe on um, Scallop. I don't know, like, I have no idea how the waste packs work. Like, can I just dump them over there? It sounds pretty bad. I may have to just consider and research. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is going to feel pretty good for our space like allocation here. Yeah, I think what you can do is you can do um you can do a caravan and just dump stuff. Apparently that's really bad for your reputation with people. I suppose we could load them in the transport pod and then fling them at enemies. We'll probably do that later. I think we'll probably get to the place where we can load them into transport pods and just fling them at enemies. Like, wow, that is terrible. Get to bed. Excellent. Lovely. Ooh, we have excellent leather. Hu human leather pants. Excellent human leather pants. Awesome. All right, we can cancel that, keep that here. So um, I'm going to switch over. There we go. To this, um, we want button-down shirt and dusters. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep one of these around if we don't have one. 54% HP. And I'm really going to, like, I'm going to try to make everything, if possible, out of Devil Strand as it comes in. With the priority being on the dusters. If we need to, if, if there's, like, an unhappy nudity that goes around, we'll uh, throw, like, individual like, jobs to make a few cloth or le leather ones. But ideally, I want everyone kitted out in Devil Strand. And the duster's most important because it's the outer layer. I don't think we've got enough Devil Strand production to really maintain that right now. But everyone's okay. Yeah, squad. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a we're gonna put a cut in here. We've streamed for about three hours. Tomorrow we've got four hours of streaming that we're going to do. So that starts at noon Eastern time. It's our regular Saturday live stream time. Uh, definitely don't want to miss it. We're gonna be continuing this game tomorrow, where we are actually we're about to pop electricity. So our tribal run is gonna get a huge tech boost very soon. We might end on a bit of cliffhanger here. Was oh, that it? Randy. Must have rolled really low on the raid. Okay, you know what? I can't stop now because what I'll do is I'll forget that it's there, actually. Rather than a cliffhanger, we're just going to get in position to attack. I think they said that we're going to prepare for a bit, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to get my range people set up here. We don't need the cover, but the rocks will still slow things down. And the two mailers are just going to come up here and try to drag aggro, and then run away. Oh, 
there's some dead bodies over here. Come on, Bozo. Who are you following? Why are you going for Valinor? I think he'll re he'll re he'll go for one of the Maliers. No? Do I have to tap you once? Seriously. Okay. Re retarget! There you go. Hey! Nice clean win. Yeah, Warg versus Cougar Mortal Kombat. Let's unforbid everything. Okay, this is a great time to cut. Wow, what a successful... Yeah, so Randy can roll, I think, 50% lower or 50% higher in terms of raid strength. So sometimes he sends you puny little raids, and sometimes he sends you ultimate death raids of doom. So that one I think he probably rolled lower than he should have, and I'm thankful for it. A little unfortunate that we didn't get another prisoner. It would have been great to expend things, especially since you were from another species, but we'll see. So yes, we're going to wrap it up here, folks. Thanks a lot for coming out today on our unscheduled stream. Again, we'll be streaming tomorrow, starting at 12 noon Eastern time. Uh, if you do the exclamation mark next game, which should be in here, or next stream, sorry, stream. There you go. You got a countdown timer. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks to everyone who followed and subbed and did all that great stuff. I'll see you soon. I'll make a Stellar's video live on YouTube if it's not already scheduled. Bye.